just because it's a last stock deal and to make it as accessible as possible we have given you an exclusive price reduction it will only be available at that price until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning so if you do want to add it to your order now is probably your best possible opportunity especially as it is now approaching limited availability so if you are placing it in your basket once again please make sure you check out and of course if you do dilly dally or we we'll leave it till tomorrow for example you're gonna have to pay the 20 pounds sorry what's my favorite thing about having worked with Michelle this afternoon I'm gonna say her designs and her dress <laughs> That seems to be the general consensus, and I have to agree. The dress. The dress is absolutely <laughs> awesome. It's right up my street, I have to say. But, no, I'm going for the locket. That's my favorite thing of the whole day. Mainly because, as well, I suggested a few days ago that why does nobody make a locket? And then Michelle came along and showed us how to make one. Well, you've clearly been a real inspiration today because you've had so many lovely messages. In fact, I've never seen so many lovely Aww, messages on the you, show. Everyone. So yes, you've, uh, uh, you've done sterling work today. So Good. thank you so much for joining us. Great designs, great top tips. Thanks to all the team for putting together the show. Uh, and a uh, special thanks to producer Danny. He's been looking after me the last two days, giving me great prices. Uh, just enough time for me to say thank you and good evening. It was here almost 650 years ago in Amir where King Jai Singh first laid the foundations that was to become one of the world's most famous walled cities, Jaipur. The city of Jaipur, commonly known as the Pink City, is now taking centre stage for gemstone cutting and trading. It's here in the bursting heart of the walled city that our gems of distinction strands are cut, faceted and polished. So, how do you get a pile of tourmaline that looks like this into a gorgeous strand that looks like this? So when you've got a pile of tourmaline like this, it's going to be made into gemstone beads. First of all, each one of these gemstones need to be inspected. A line is then drawn down the middle of the gemstone or wherever the gem is going to be faceted and it's then taken behind us and then faceted into these rough gem shapes. Once each gemstone has been cut into the amount of pieces it needs to be, it's then time to shape the gemstones. These gentlemen are working on anything from a round to a pear shape, pretty much any cut imaginable. The next process is polishing and faceting, and this takes a huge amount of skill. It can take years for a lapidus to be able to facet like this, and each one of the gemstones can take up to 10 minutes to cut. A really lengthy but incredible process. The next stage of the process is really interesting. This is where each one of the gemstones is drilled. And what Sanjay is doing here is putting a drill through faceted beads of black tourmaline. The next stage after drilling is then to get the gemstones sorted into their appropriate colours and sizes. This can be a really, really lengthy process. Once the gemstones are sorted into different colours and sizes, they're then arranged into these strands and made into strands like this. Now each one of these gemstones could have gone through a 30 to 40 minute process to arrive on a strand like this. It's really quite incredible. If there's one thing that my time in India has taught me, it's the hours of dedicated time that goes into making each one of the gemstones we sell on Jewelry Maker.
Hello and welcome to today's Late Show. I'm Jenny Cleary and I'm going to be with you from now on until, oh, what's the time? Nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Not used to this, am I? Uh, the highlights coming up on today's show at five o'clock. We have got a beautiful lavender amethyst, an unmissable lavender amethyst strand, absolutely gorgeous black and red wire duo at 6 p.m. We're going to give you a great deal on that. A five strand of fun section happening at seven o'clock tonight and at eight o'clock. It's the light green shell pearl that is absolutely blooming gorgeous. Green, my favorite. Pearl, my favourite. Jen is a happy girl today. Thanks to Michelle Naylor and Ed for the last four hours now. We're about to take you into the danger zone. Give us a little cheeky text tonight. Are we over at Walsh Shed yet, Rai? Not yet. Keep them clean then. Keep them clean then. Uh, 68777 is the number to be texting me on. Uh, now the text subject for today. Have you ever been to a wedding where something crazy has happened? If so, we want to know exactly what that crazy thing was. I did something crazy when I was a bridesmaid, but I, because of the watershed, I cannot tell you what it is. Just gonna have to guess it. I said something really inappropriate as while we were walking down the aisle. And, and I looked at my mum's face and she just went, oh, like, it's always you, always. Um, and I got locked in a room the night before so that I didn't get drunk. <laughs> And because uh, I, I get a little bit excited sometimes and I don't get let out often. So I tend to do that thing like, woohoo, I'm out of my cage, I'm free. Give me some wine. Oh no, I feel really ill because I've only had one glass and I drank it really quickly, you know, and that's me all over. What's you all over? We want to know, we want to know about it. Uh, have you ever been to a wedding where something a little bit crazy has happened? Ryan, have you ever been to a wedding where something crazy has happened? Uh, have I been to two weddings? No, so they're, they're very normal. So it's a bit to two normal boring. weddings. Uh, now, is your name Mike? Dan. Dan. Oh. Dan, I've only worked with you once before. Yeah, I, I mean, you I, 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 yeah, and that wasn't for long enough. No, that's Dan, Dan, cameraman. Dan, Dan, cameraman. Have you ever been to a wedding where something crazy has happened? Unfortunately, not yet. But Come on, Dan. I'm, I'm my brother's best man in, in October. He's so his brother's I'm best man something to happen. in October. So it's your happen. job to make something happen. Something. something I want to know if you've got any tips for Dan. He's going to be a best man at his brother's wedding. What can he do to make this an unforgettable wedding or an unforgettable stag? <laughs> you done the stag yet? I've got two stag dudes coming up. Two? No one's satisfied with one anymore, are they? It's all two, I'm isn't it? No. <laughs> why not? Why not? I've got the long nose pliers for you today. <laughs> yes. They're like me. They've got a really big nose. Now, I've also got some gorgeous cues for you. Do you love a bit of ladder weave? I love the ladder weave. I got a bit brummy then, didn't I? I love the I love the ladder wave. I do. I was being I was being um, Janet then. Look at that! Love that cube, or those cubes even. Uh, when you text us, by the way, your normal network charges will apply. You can go onto our old webulate. It's all the w's dot dot com, and it's free. Then you can send us a little message to studio. Uh, now, let's start the show. Let's start the show. I'm going to give you some rose quartz. They're brand new. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to grab my... Now, there's bets on. I need a blackboard, Ryan. I can't go on with my life. Now, um, I'm going to give it to you. Thanks, Dan, not Mike. Thanks, Ry. Look, I'm surrounded by men. I feel vulnerable. Uh, have a look. <laughs> I don't. I don't. They're all wimps. Have a look. I scare you. Tell you what, if you'd have seen what I'd done to uh, me other half of the baguette today, you would be scared. I was, um, uh, I'll explain that actually, because I just realised what that sounded like. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, he shouted really loudly at me. So out of, uh, because I ate in the new car, he got really cross with me. And I went, I don't want this stupid baguette anyway. And I lobbed it. And I didn't mean for it to, to hit him. I meant for it to go like near the bin. However, jewellery makers, it clipped his ear. It was all right. I rang him and said, sorry. I love you. I'm sorry about the baguette. Now, have a look at this. <laughs> now, 
totally and utterly natural is this Madagascan rose quartz. The quality is beautiful. Do you know what the thing about this colour is? We just feel feminine wearing it, don't we? The glow that comes from it is like a bluish glow. So when you first look at it, you might think to yourself, oh, is that Kunzite? It's not. It's rose quartz. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And then mirror graduated as well, which means you can work them to a taper. Have a look at that clarity and think about what you can make out of these because I think earrings would be a really nice idea with some moonstone, rainbow moonstone, because, and actually jewellery makers, it's a coincidence, bit of a coincidence because I have got some rainbow moonstone coming up and I actually think these two together in some earrings because of the clarity of that rose quartz just look phenomenal. Look at that. What a, what a combination that is. Absolutely good. That's coming up later. Oh, don't miss it. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Now, have a look. Oh, and these look. Mm, mm, mm. That goes together so... That's poetic, isn't it? That there is the Tennyson of gemstone strands together. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I want you to think about earrings, like I said, but look, look, if you do this, you can see how they are on the flat. So if you flatten them out... You could do, you could use your beading thread if you were going to use coloured beading thread and you wanted it on display, or you could use monofilament, um, or you could have them like rondelles. The great thing about rondelles like this is they stack up. Imagine a stack of plates. If you stack plates in a certain way, you'll get many more, obviously, wouldn't you, than if you were putting them the other way up. Do you know what I mean? If, for, for want of a better analogy, um, BSRU15 is your item code. You've got 50 carats in total. I actually think these make a really nice rosary link bracelet as well. They're three by one to eight by three, and they're on a 19 centimeter strand. If you want them, come and get them. You can get them on the phone lines. 0800 644 655 is the number to be dialing. It's a free phone number. If you're dialing from a UK landline, all yours for just six. This is Madagascan rose quartz. Beautiful colour, ever so feminine, absolutely gorgeous. And they are just glowing with colour, aren't they? Think about what else you can get for under £10 that's this gorgeous. Not a lot, really, I don't think. Now, you can shop online, all the w's.jurymaker.com. Use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us here today at Jurymaker. Loads of you there on the phone lines. Great to have your company this evening. Don't forget to drop us a tinkle or a text and make sure you're checking out baskets. Were you expecting Lady Defoy Foy tonight? How, how did, yeah, because Ed stood, did my shift. Who did this morning? Uh, and if you, oh, we've all jiggled. It's like we've all jumped into a bottle of lemonade and been shaken up. Six at 95, I've got, I've got, oh, got text message coming through. Hello to all of you. Sarah in Surrey says, whole congregation, I read that as orangutan. I was putting whole orangutan. I was like, you put a whole orangutan in your wedding? We're standing up for 10 minutes before we appeared. Very funny on the video. So you were the bride and they were all, what were they stood up for? Sit down and coming in. I'd be like, sit down. Right, we got another one. That's hilarious. We've got another one. I went to an ex's wedding. An ex's wedding? That's wrong. That's wrong in the first line of the sentence already. And at the reception, his mother introduced me to all the family as the one he should have married. <laughs> oh, what would you do if you were the bride? <sighs> well done, Dina, who should have married that lad but never did. The one that got away, Dina, from barking, if you know her. Uh, isn't that hilarious? Or I thought you were going to say, I went to an ex's wedding, and when they said, if anybody knows why these couples should not be joined, you went, me, he's mine. Now, have you ever felt like doing that? Have you? Did that happen at your wedding, Tom? It didn't, unfortunately. Now, now, I'm going to give to you, which, box number four. Oh, box two, darling, you work in order, do you? That's good. Now, have a look. Now, tonight, to explain to you, Phil's never been my producer before. There are bets in the building of Jewelry Maker that Phil will crumble <laughs> after half an hour because he won't be able to control me because apparently I'm crazy like a bouncing ball. Is that true? You need to get a bit shouty, I think, Phil. Mm, a bit shouty. Have a look. Have a look at these. These are, are these the spinels that you launched the other day, Philip, darling? These are amazing. I need them. Hang on a minute. Let's get really close to these. Don't be afraid, Dan. Get really close. Look, they're cubes. Do you know what I would do with these? Straight away, they're going on my bead loom. They're absolutely good. 
that I am a lunatic. They're absolutely, these are gorgeous. I would also do a ladder weave with these because they're square, they look amazing. And then Mira graduated five already. Oh my gosh, micro macrame. My, Mark Smith should be all over these. Like a dog on a bone. Look at those. Look, look, they're gorgeous. They're glamorous. They're gonna go so beautifully with some white pearls. I want you to think about these in earrings, whether they are in silver, being dangled with chain or with gold chain. And actually let's have a look again. Oh, look at this. Now that's wonderful together. Spinel has the most incredible sparkle to it, doesn't it? And you know something about Spinel, quarter of the stock's gone by the way. The, the thing about Spinel is it has that incredible luster, that wonderful brilliance. It's actually a gemstone that's mainly sourced in ruby and sapphire bearing areas. And it's funny, isn't it? Because it gets um, mistaken so often for um, precious gemstones. Have a look at the price tag on your screen right now. They're only 9 95 I want you to look at this um, strand of distinction and really know that you're getting a treat for under £10 because for 9 95 you have got exceptional sparkle. Exceptional sparkle. I mean, they're, they're undeniably glamorous, aren't they? They are undeniably making you want to make jewelry out of them, aren't you? If, you? if you've got this in your collection, you just want it. I would get two of these. I really would recommend multi to any of my um, jewelry makers out there, such as McGordon Justina, um, Anna, who loves high-end gems, you're going to really, really adore these. I'm seeing so many multipliers. Jennifer and Gwen, wow, Jennies are particularly clever, it's true. You've got two in your basket. Edwina from Devon, three for you, my darling. Evelyn, you've got yours. Wendy and Devon, you've got yours. Pamela, you've got yours. Jenny, uh, both of you in Surrey. Uh, Olga, Shirley, Andrea, Leslie, Julian, Abigail, all over these. They are so beautiful. What are you going to create out of yours? Is this an evening glass? Hammer strand or are you just looking for that black to pop with that particular strand whether it's your pyrite strands whether it's it's your icy white quartz that you've got and you want to make something monochrome whether you're looking for the perfect bling bling strand for that pair of earrings these are undeniably the most sparkly black gemstones that I have ever seen here at Jewelry Maker certainly certainly loving well, these are going to sell out. Linda's got two. Muriel, you've got yours. Nicola, Stella, make sure you check out Baskets. You've only got two left and they're nine ninety five. And you do get a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee with everything that you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. You're watching The Late Show. And we have... Uh, We've been a bit like a snow globe today, jury makers. We've all been shaken up and we've landed in the wrong places at the right time. Uh, Ali was uh, there with you this morning. Ed was here this afternoon. Are you confused and dizzy? Now you know how I feel on a daily basis. Tom doesn't know who he is. These have sold out, these gorgeous spinels. I hope you didn't miss out on yours. Now, I'm gonna go, oh, these go in my dress. It's like my plans, eh? Have a look. Oh, I love these, have a look. I really love these. First of all, they feel heavy when I put them against my, my skin. So do you know what I like that? Because it makes me think, oh, expensive. Because we, th I think we associate jewelry. Uh, maybe we don't mean or know that we do this, but actually, when you try, you, you know, when you feel gold and you think, oh, it's it's weighty, it's got some weight to it, you automatically think, oh, it's expensive. And I think we might make that subconscious decision in our minds when we try on other jewelry. I don't know. Um, obviously, I ain't no scientist or no doctor. But that's how I feel. Um, look, look at the colour. Look at the colour. And aren't you thinking about ball gowns, silky, gorgeous ball gowns in that electric blue? I think, I think that's yes. Tom loves a lady in a cocktail dress. He said, uh, seven hundred and thirty carats of metallic blue. And I love that description. That's exactly what it is. Almost electric lightning bolt blue, isn't it? And you get them. Look at that. Look, look, look. Earrings. Uh, macrame bracelet. Shambhala style bracelet would be gorgeous with that, wouldn't it? Are you going to put them gold? Hey, have you got any of that, um, that blue beading thread? Have you got any of that? Because that would look good in a Shambhala style bracelet with this, wouldn't it? Don't you think? Maybe you're going to put one really long, long earring one of these at the bottom and I would do a long head pin in gold or silver Philip saying silver I'm thinking I was thinking gold but I think either either will work do you know what would look really nice antique bronze antique bronze with these look gorgeous what about a cuff with these what about a Laura binding style cuff or a cuff link perhaps Dan I want to see you making your brother's cuff links for the wedding please I've already spoke to Ali about that 
And you've already video spoken with Ali. With Ali. About it, and, and you're out. and you are cufflinking up oh, to make cufflinks. I love it. I love it. I, I'm feeling that you're from around these these uh, woods. I'm from North. Yeah, I could tell by your accent there. Oh, Where's Philip from? I want to know. I think he was born in radio. Ten ninety-five because he sounds got that radio voice. He, uh, do you know what? Um, I want you to describe Phil's voice to you. The uh, two words spring to mind: Alan Partridge. That is your voice. Your actual voice. 1095 H A R U 45 740 carats and these are the perfect 12 mil round they're all on the uniform so bang on the dot 12 mil which means you can make something that's got that that consistency throughout your design that's what you're looking for now if you want to make a great big collar style necklace or a bib style necklace this is perfect isn't it 10 pounds and 95 pence we're welcoming back and our guest designer and you know she's been at the commonwealth games training the divers yeah 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 so i think she's just on her she's on her way home now but i bet she don't want to go home you know when you, you've had such a great experience and i hope you had a lovely time h-a-r u 45 let us know about any crazy experiences you've had particularly uh, in the wedding um what now the reason we did this is because phil's got quite a, yeah i didn't even explain this phil phil decided Phil decided this was going to be today's text in for this reason, and this is pretty funny actually. Phil said, um, you went to a wedding the other day, didn't you Phil? And his friend, who was the best man, came to touch my skin, touch my skin! Ah! And, and he said, he's really panicking, he said, what's wrong with you? And I've accidentally used hair gel instead of shower gel to wash with, and all of his skin, the hair on his skin was matted. And he was at a wedding and he was panicking. Can you imagine that feel? Yeah. Thank God he didn't use hair remover cream. Because we've all accidentally left that in the shower on purpose, haven't we, girls? 10.95 H-A-R U45. These look like they're going to sell out. Uh, do make sure you're checking out. Buzz. Oh, remember, you get 30-day money-back guarantee with everything. Now, if you're a brand-new customer here at Jewelry Maker, maybe you're flicking across the channels tonight and... Uh, you've stopped here I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you what you get because I haven't got it on me but you do get can you do that Wingardium Leviosa thing that I do with with Tom where you bring it up you don't like it you don't like magic oh you don't like magic you're a science lover uh, you get a free tutorial uh, DVD a free tutorial book and a step-by-step -step, uh, uh, and a step-by-step -step book and a Jam Hub magazine free with your very first order they're not on my right my love I had a look there darling He's going in my ear, on your right, on your right. Uh, now, they're not on my left neither. I did look, oh, I can see where they are. Somebody's put them on the chair. There we are. Here we go. Thanks, Dan. Cameraman Dan. Have a little look at these. So that's, that's not just any old DVD, my darlings. It's going to show you that. And you know what? You know when you start a new hobby and people say words and you think, what, what is that word? I don't even know what that word means. You know, like football, for instance, you know, like, I don't know what a lot of those things mean. Um, I, you know, I haven't got a clue. It could be anything, it could be any, it could be skiing. I don't know what that means. This, you know, jump ring, gizmo, these are foreign words to, to the non jewelry maker. It's okay, we're going to explain everything to you in the DVD, and that's for free. If you've misplaced your DVD or you'd like to get a friend involved in jewelry maker, give us a tinkle, we'll send you one of those. You also get a book. It's always nice to have a good book in it. What good books are you reading at the moment? That's another text I want to know. Going on holiday in a couple of weeks, I need a good book. So you've got all of that knowledge in there as well. And you've got the JM Hub magazine. We've got Kaz with us this evening. You are right, Kaz? Oh, I love it. You had the Yorkshire pudding today? No. I was thinking of you earlier. I can't remember why. Oh. No, it's gone. It'll happen. <laughs> I went to see Thriller yesterday. Michael Jackson Thriller. Yeah. It was, it was hilarious, actually, because everyone was like... So there was one girl sat near us who every time uh, the Michael Jackson kept going on, she kept going, Michael! So she knows that's not the real Michael Jackson, doesn't she? Because she was like a little bit teary and stuff. And I was like, it's not real. You know, this isn't we're, we're, this is I didn't want to break it to her, though. Now, I love these. It was, it was funny, actually. I liked it. Now, I'm going to give to you... Now I get very excited by these because I am a massive fan of metal stamping. Now, the other day we had an F colour show. 
I don't know if you saw it or not, but on the keys, you can actually enamel on those and it looks amazing. Now you see those little tags as well in rose gold. These look great together, by the way. You could metal stamp a heart into there and have a key to my heart theme going on a, on a um, bracelet, but these are also amazing for Bollywood style anklets or little head pieces. Now, um, me, uh, my daughter's friend, last week celebrating Eid had the most amazing head uh, what do you call it just like a head head hair no not a tiara because it was like a chain across her oh my gosh she looked absolutely stunning she, she had to go miles to get it she paid a lot of money it weren't genuine gemstones and I think you know what you can actually create your own here and um, I'm thinking these would be lovely anklets if you if you did a bubble bracelet style with them you know um, now these are wonderful for metal stamping into. I love the keys and do think about the fact that you're going to be creating, if you're not already, Valentine's pieces. Uh, I know that, um, I know when I write time off like that, Tom, I knew you were going to do that, Tom. Tom starts to get itchy and go, you know, when I talk about Christmas, we're already, we're already doing our Christmas pieces, Tom. If you're a card crafter, you've mo mainly all finished your cards uh, for Christmas, haven't you? Ready to sell. You've got to be ahead of the game. Of course, we know if you work in retail, you're selling all the summer stock now. That's why there's summer sales everywhere, big sales everywhere, to make way for the autumn stock. So you know what this is going to be great if you're thinking ahead and you're thinking about valentine's day because you've got the keys there for the key to my heart designs uh, they're going to be great in card craft they're going to be wonderful in your jewelry as well each one has a little hole at the top a little loop at the top for you to either place straight onto some earrings now how, did you get the feathers the other day because i think the feathers and the keys amazing did you see the feathers we had feathers in sheila's kit Sold out of, of course I did. We've been waiting for feathers for how long? It was Lucy and uh, Sheila. Straight away, boom, gone. And we had lace as well, didn't we? So if you're thinking about doing some steampunk pieces, we all know that elements like keys and things like that are, are, are wonderful within steampunk pieces as well, aren't they? Here is a charm duo. Uh, they're, they're, hang on a minute, just stop everything. These are real silver with nine carat gold over the keys and rose gold over the tags. These are amazing. And you get 25 of each. You've got 50 charms altogether, 7.95. Now I'm gonna ask producer Phil, I don't know if you're a mathematical genius or not. How much is that, I ask you, per charm, my love? Because if I walked into Thomas Sabo, Links of London or Pandora, I'd be very lucky to walk out of there with a charm for 30 pence. For 30 pence, I mean 30 pounds. 16p each. That is as mad as a pig's trotter. 7 95 for 50 of them. Incredible. TMGC29. I've got loads of you. Oh, hello, everybody. I've got uh, Anonymous in Cheshire, County Down, uh, Anonymous in West Midlands, Christine, uh, Beatrice. You've got your 7 95 Now, Sarah in Surrey says, Future father-in-law turned up in a Lenny Henry suit, brown check, etc., plus a hat with a feather in it. I nearly walked out there and then. I actually think, right, future father-in-law does that now. He's going to entertain you for the rest of his life. That's blinky brilliant. Can we have a picture, please? What would you do? What would you do? What happened at your wedding? Anything? Any, I bet everything went very smoothly at Tom's wedding because he had he dotted all the t he dotted the I's and crossed the T's. Did anything bad happen? It was brilliant and great, and everything went smoothly. Which is why I should never get married because we all know that several thousand disasters would happen. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Janice, you've got yours. Diane and Sophie and Mary and Nicola. Great to have you all on board. Jacqueline from Gloucestershire. Lou in Wiltshire. Lynette and Elizabeth and Jill. Diane in Carmarthenshire. Sh Shirley, hello to you. Uh, TMG, C29, 7.95 with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, these are wonderful. I would put these with some genuine gemstones. I would put, oh, do you know what? Get them with the moonstone. Get them with the moonstone. That's going to be perfect with the keys, isn't it? I like that. Now, of course, we give you gemstones like this, the Moonstone, because we are part of the Genuine Gemstone group. Now, 
that gives us huge buying power. Please go and check out our gorgeous Cena on our sister channel at, on the lounge. You can go to gemporia.com. She's giving you some incredible, um, incredible things right now, incredible rings. Uh, now, I've got Adina on Gems TV today. Gorgeous Adina giving you some fantastic pieces, some classic pieces, and the gorgeous L on Rocks, which you can um, view online. Seven ninety five, and Rocks TV is um, airing right now in the USA. So if you shopping for the USA tonight, go and check out Rocks TV. And Elle is gorgeous. Now, she is Welsh too. I like that about her, you see. My cousin who lived, who grew up in Wales, posted something last night saying, heaven is a little place called Wales. I think that might be a bit true because it is all hilly and gorgeous there. Now, let's give you a wire deal. Oh, someone whooped then. What's going on? There's a lot of whooping going on. It was Kaz. It... Whoever knows what go... Oh, Kaz and Tom. Mm, start them rumours. <laughs> 10 metres of silver wire. Now, this is 1.25 wire. Now, 1.25 wire is wonderful for rings. It's perfect for name writing. If you just saw Michelle, the gorgeous girl Michelle, she is excellent at doing things like that. But it is going to be quite hard. It's going to be harder to do that on um, first time. So practice with a, a lower gauge first time. Now 1.25 can be hammered and it flattens out absolutely perfectly. But it can also be hammered when it's twisted. It's my personal favourite gauge of wire because you can make a ring really easily. And Gemma Crow. It's because it can get hammered like me a lot. No, um, I don't do that. It's just I go over the top when I get let out of my cage. Uh, now, um, I think the, this is something Gemma Crow taught me, that she sells these for £12. takes a couple of minutes, right? You get about that much wire. You put uh, a little loop on one end, a little loop on the other. You get your ring mandrel, you wrap it around your ring mandrel. Okay, then you've got essentially a ring. Hammer it on your stainless steel. This is me hammering, look, like you don't know what that means, so I'm doing that. Hammer directly onto your ring mandrel, your, your uh, stainless steel ring mandrel, and take it off. Now, it looks amazing. It almost looks like a, I'd say it does look like a silversmithed ring from the unprofessional eye. Now, to be able to sell that then for £12 means that you are making a major profit and good profit margin, so big tick there and it's something that's taking you very little time so it's really going to bulk up your stock so again if you're um, stocking up for a craft fair in particular and you really want or, or maybe you're doing jewelry parties perfect to get hold of a little bit of wire if you're not sure exactly what to do with your wire go on to our website we've got loads of free tutorials on there it's uh, jewelrymaker.com or you can buy we've got uh, uh, loads of different um types of wire work DVDs and all, all the genres. So whether it's rings, we've got one on that. Uh, all of this, 10 meters for seven pounds and 95 pence. When you think about how little you need to create a big impact piece at 7.95, I think you're gonna be smiling when you get it. WNJM23 is your item code. Anonymous and Greater Manchester, three in your basket. Stella, you've got yours, Christina and Joan. Uh, jewelry maker in Kent, Jane and Kyria, jewelry maker in Berkshire, loads of you there. You do need to check out your baskets. WNJ M23 is your item code. Don't forget, you do have a 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee with everything that you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. And you can use your debit card, you can use your credit card if you like. You don't get charged on your credit or debit card until we ship your order, which is fantastic, isn't it? 10 meters. Uh, we now, Listen, there's loads of you there. How many of these do I have at this price tag, Philip? We had plenty in stock, so loads of opportunity for you to come in and grab this. But you know what? At 7 95 you are getting a great deal. Uh, when you, when you, oh, it's e-coated as well. Do you know the great things about, do you know, I've, I've forgotten two really important elements about this. So it's copper. And then we put real sterling silver over the top and then we e-coat it. So if you do want to verdigree this, you're going to need to use, because the e-coating is really strong, which is brilliant because it's going to prevent tarnishing and it's going to make the pieces hypoallergenic. But if you want to verdigree it, you are going to need to use a primer. 
That, and I think that just goes to show how strong our e-coating is. If you want more information on that, do a little Google search on e-coating. Uh, £7.95, don't forget you've got the element of real silver in this and you've got 10 metres. Zoe in Essex, hi to you. Hi Belinda, you've got yours. Pauline, you've got yours. Mavis, you've got yours. Make sure you're checking out Baskets. Well done to Anne in Yorkshire. You've got yours. Uh, I don't want anyone missing out on this deal. It's a great price tag at 7 95 We're going to go to a quick break. When we return, we're going to give you more incredible deals, more beautiful gemstones. I'm going to talk you through a gorgeous star buy back after this. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel, Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. Time for your star buy. Now, talking to Mark Smith, he always says to me, flowers and hearts and stars are his biggest sellers. Amethyst is one of Mark's favorite gemstones. And I think a lot of us identify with amethyst because it's a gemstone that we see a lot when we're younger, I think. Um, I think when you start to visit museums when you're young and you go and have a look at the little pieces that you get um, to buy afterwards with your pocket money that your mum's given you. Uh, there's usually some rose quartz, there's usually a bit of pyrite and there's usually some amethyst. Um, actually I think um, there was a bit of a, um, what's it called, a survey where most people actually said that it was, mo it was the first gemstone most people bought who were surveyed. I, I forget the exact statistics but it's a gemstone that I think we fall in love with because of its tranquility of colour. When you look at that, near my house we've got some gorgeous lavender fields, hitching lavender fields, and they roll on and on. Sometimes when my head's getting too crazy, I sit in those lavender fields and I just breathe and, and it's that tranquility. It calms me right down, it does. The bees are buzzing and that smell is incredible. My, no lead does not send me there. I go there sometimes when I realise I'm making people around me crazy. So I go and sit there and I calm down. And lavender is, is lovely, isn't it? Lavender is calming. Lavender is beautiful. And I think that this strand is capturing that with its color. Calming, beautiful, and the shape, sentimental. When you're offering somebody flowers, you're offering them a bit of a sentiment, a thought, isn't it? You know, when you're thinking of somebody, you send them some flowers. Flowers are, of course, associated always with beauty. And there's something that are also associated with femininity, I think. So these in some earrings, or these in, in a hair comb, these, you know, put in a rosary chain, I think they're gonna be just gorgeous. And you know something, they're wonderful in macrame bracelets. If you wanna make something super girly, then absolutely super feminine absolutely these are all for you at eight pounds and 95 pence you've got a lovely 115 carats and they're 10 millimeters which is a, a nice and substantial substantial enough to see them uh, but not too overpowering that you can't put them in a tiara twist in a fascinator they're going to go so well with the lace that you bought last week they're going to look beautiful with the lace Eight pounds. I think it was Friday we launched the lace, wasn't it? So you might be getting that any day soon. These are going to look absolutely stunning with the shell pearl that I've got. Now that is such a gorgeous combination, isn't it? So pretty, but they're equally going to be stunning with the chain. Oh yeah. You know what? The rose quartz I gave you earlier, they just look divine with that. What about this for a combination? Have a look at those. Isn't that lovely? Now, I also think... We've got stars in box 13. I've got some stars coming up for you. If you're making wish bracelets, that's a, that's a wonderful thing to do, isn't it? Put them together. Can we do those next, can we? Eight pounds and 95 pence. These are also gonna work very well in rings because of the way they're drilled, look. They're side drilled, aren't they? Well, I suppose when it's a flower, doesn't matter which way up it goes, does it? So those, that'd make a really easy ring on some memory wire. Have you got any of our new ring memory wire? Love it, in those lovely new colors. One of those on one of the, some of the ring memory wire would look gorgeous, but also memory wire bracelets would look lovely with the flowers, wouldn't they? Chips and nuggets would go really nicely and you could have a lot of organic, just, oh, what about Christophase or something, or Ruby's Oysite with these? Get a bit of green in there and then offer them that, 
that gorgeous lilac color uh, maybe some sage green because that's what you see in, a, in an act when you go to a, a lavender field isn't it all those lovely sagey colors very calming Tom's just bought me water thank you Tom you. Tom how are you setting the world on fire today Oh, stop. Rewind. Let me see that positive smile. You know what happens in the car park if I see negative, Tom? Beating. 8.95. No, we have a little bit of a life wrestle. Remember, I'm life. And Tom has to fight me back. Hello, Alex in Gloucestershire. This is very confusing. I know. I know. Uh, lovely to see you. But this is the show. This is the late show, isn't it? I've been asleep. You have to tell us more about your. Um, but I can't really. I can't. I, I, what else did I do? Did something else funny? Oh yeah, I did something really bad actually. But this is like in the middle of the. You know when it's the night time. My friend Belinda who's one of my be like longest friends ever. I kn I've known her since we were tiny, and I was her bridesmaid. And um, you know they have a camera. Well, no, they don't do this in every wedding, so I don't know why I'm saying Right, Belinda had a camera in a room that was always on during the wedding. Well, for me, that's dangerous. So, and then they put it on the wedding video. So we're all watching the wedding video, and then there'd be me turning up going, she loves me, Martin. That's her husband. She doesn't love you, she loves me. And, and like doing like really crazy faces. And I'd forgotten that I'd done it. And they played the wedding video back and I was mortified. And then something else happened, which I can't tell you about. And um, <laughs> basically, and oh, then I remembered singing Stand By Your Man on it. I just went into the room, like on the sofa, stand by your man. I just kept going in there kept going in there, kept going in there, looking rougher as the night went on. I might have even fallen asleep at one point in, in front of the sofa where the camera was. And that's basically how my friend's wedding video went. Uh, so there you go. The moral of that story is don't invite me to your wedding. Now, have a look <laughs> at this. Gorgeous stars, aren't they lovely? I love these. Now you know what you need to make out of this i'm just going to go and grab something dan you look at these lovely stars i'll be back in a minute it's all right get it darling don't you worry i know where I'm, i know what i'm getting let me talk to you my lovelies about a wish bracelet do you like well you remember wish bracelets don't you tom now i get very excited by wish bracelets and actually a traditional wish bracelet is made with a star in america apparently you the americans go crazy for wish bracelets what happens is you put a star or something to make a wish it could be a gemstone it could be something that you feel um warrants making a wish upon you know when you see something like moonstone and it feels magical and you think oh you know what i could make a wish upon this or labradorite do you know what i mean it's magical somehow well you could put a star on the wish bracelet and the, the theory is you put it on you put it on very thin cord and when it you make a wish when you put it on you tie it on for your friend or whatever and when it breaks your wish is going to be granted so i love that sentiment here's what Gemma crow does when she sells her wish bracelet she put she puts a poem on hers and you can you can have if, if you can rewind this on um the tube of you at the youtube afterwards now this is a happiness wish bracelet, which you can see up here, it's got uh, citrine, it says on the top here, happiness wish bracelet. Uh, so imagine this being a star here, and this is the poem, close your eyes and make a wish, then tie this bracelet on your wrist. When it falls off, as the threads wear through, that is when your wish comes true. Right, one gemstone on a card, so have a look at the card. And um, we were looking at doing some templates for these cards at one point. So let's have a look at the card. So now this has cost Gemma a tiny amount to make, a tiny amount, one gemstone. You've got a whole strand. Okay, she's got two spacer beads to the other end and just some uh, wax cord, I think. It, no, it's a hemp cord. So that she would sell for between five and eight pounds depending on where she was selling, okay? Now if I saw that, if, now I don't live near my friends anymore because I moved from Cheltenham to Hertfordshire. So something like this, instead of just a card, sending them something like this, like I always tell you about my friend Rachel who sent me a tea bag because uh, she missed having our cups of tea together. Something like this offers sentiment and it's more than just a card. 
Now, the reason I tie that in with the wish uh, with the strands here, because you wish upon a star, don't you? And rose quartz, the gemstone of friendship and love. So for me, it's perfect. Now, let me tell you how many wish bracelets you can make out of this. And then you could work out that you only need to charge a couple of pounds a wish bracelet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I'm giving you this strand for, there's 28 on the strand. If I was giving you the strand for 28 pounds, you'd still be making a profit by waking wish bracelets and selling them for three pounds. They're only 9.95, which is what? About 28p each? Is that right? <gasps> They're six. They're six ninety-five. They're rose quartz. They're stars. You've got to get them now. LWGP ninety-four. I will never be able to guarantee this price tag for you again. We've only got forty-three to go around. Oh eight hundred six double four six triple four six double five is the number to be calling. Make sure you're quick in snapping these up. They're very popular. They're side drilled as well, so they make an easy ring. They're going to be great in hair combs and tiaras. Absolutely loads of you coming through on my screens with six pounds and ninety-five pence. You're getting super super value. Let me know what you're going to do with yours i'm going to make some really long earrings and then dangle one from the earring 6.95 i think you can afford to sort of twizzle about with it a little bit uh, now i've got loads of you there let me let me see your names on my screen lwg p94 is your item code these are 15 millimeter round helen uh, you've got yours zoe you've got yours gloria you've got yours christine helen another helen sue in essex sue in yorkshire jane kathleana diane uh, jury maker in yorkshire and surrey olga in hertfordshire anita in nottinghamshire alison you've got two in berkshire sophie's in london shopping helen's shopping from malaga i love it oh well i get texas too i get colorado too Six ninety-five. Are you confused? Because Ed was on earlier and Ali was on this morning, and it's very confusing. It's a higgledy piggledy day today. I think it's like um. I think we should swap shifts often just for get a mixture, and then you'll appreciate Ali defoy all the more, Philip. Are you finding me hard to control? I'm different. Is that what you just said? Oh, good so far, he said. Six ninety-five. I'm on good behaviour. Oh, am I good? How lovely to hear. It's like it's like being at school, isn't it? Uh, we've only got thirteen of this, these left. You are going to have to be very quick because Alison's got two. Abigail's got two. Another Alison in Berkshire's got two. Um, good grief! Uh, do you know what? It is great value though, and there are so many stars are very popular, very popular, and there are so many options, aren't there, with what you can do with them. These would be nice with those black spinel I gave you earlier. What should I do with those? Oh yeah, you f don't forget I'm very untidy. Okay, everybody. Aren't they lovely? To isn't that lovely together? Starry, starry night. It's like a starry night, says Phil. I, I said to Phil when I first met him, you have got the best voice for radio. And he went, funnily enough, I uh, dabbled in a bit of hospital radio. 6.95. Don't you think he's got radio voice, yes, Dan? Yeah. I love your voice. You should just be on the radio. Give me some voiceovers. Welcome to Jewelry Mate. I think he could do the voiceovers for Jewelry. I think he should do them. Why don't you? I'm going to put you forward for them, Philip. Well, you know, things like, we've got beautiful Spinel coming up for you. The Friday. Late Show is here. The Late Show with me, Philip, and Ali. Six ninety-five is your price tag for these. You're going to have to be really quick. Don't forget, we want your texts. Anything crazy happened at your wedding or a friend's wedding? Or did you do what I did Was a terrible bridesmaid? Were you a terrible bridesmaid like me? I was a terrible bridesmaid. Uh, Lou, hello, Lou. Hi, Jenny. I'm watching you while icing a wedding cake for tomorrow. It's my brother's wedding. <gasps> oh, then we want to know, Lou. Oh, and she's in Wiltshire. There's some beautiful places to get married in Wiltshire, isn't there? Thank you for entertaining me while I work. Lou, I used to go clubbing in Wiltshire when I was a young un. So ever saw a crazy girl in hot pants? That was me. My kids always go, here she goes, the hot pants stays. Uh, <laughs> Maureen likes me. I remember when I could wear hot pants. Not anymore. Not with this bottom. Uh, my darling Jenny. Hello, Maureen. Nice to see you in the evening. Now I have to postpone making dinner. No, you should get takeaway. Get a takeaway. It's Sunday. Can you get Sunday takeaways? 
Unless it's a roast dinner, because I've never, I actually think a good business idea, right? Just make roast dinners mm. and deliver them. No, no, deliver them. Deliver them. With it's a brilliant idea. I would definitely order that. And you should be able to have the options like rare beef, cooked beef, you know, like, and you can do it all. And you can make, get it online and you can make your perfect roast dinner and get it delivered. What do you think, jewellery makers? Would you be up for that? I, I, I mean, I can't obviously make them, but I just think it's a good idea. Forget, forget them drive through or drive through roast dinners. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because then we could eat it at work. Are you a fan of a roast dinner, Dan? What kind of meat is it on your roast plate? It's got to be beef. Bit of rare beef. It's got to be beef. Yeah, yeah. Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like a parsnip or are you against parsnips? Mm, only at Christmas time. Only at Christmas time? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, selective. Broad beans are my favourite, but they're really a, an acquired taste, aren't they? I like a sprout, but I could literally, if somebody gave me a big bowl of cooked broad beans, I would eat the whole lot. I love broad, I haven't had a broad bean in ages because no one in my house likes them. I'm going to have a massive revolt against broad I'm going to do that. Tomorrow everyone's getting broad beans for dinner and that is it. See what happens. Now, have an, actually me or pretty much. My daughter today, by the way, jewelry makers, rang me and said, I'm flying out to uh, Ireland next week. I went, I, I think you got this wrong. Firstly, can I please go to Ireland next week? No, no, it's okay because I don't have to pay for it. So I don't really need your permission. I was like, oh, I think you do. <laughs> I think, I think you do. You're 12. Oh, she said. Have a look, have a look at what I got. Oh, kids weird. Have a look at these. Aren't they amazing? Do you know something? What I like out of these strands, these agates, is just, uh, let's take it back to the simple days of just making a stretchy bracelet out of something gorgeous. Because I don't think you need to over egg these. They are absolutely stunningly gorgeous. But I want also to, have you ever done, I don't know if you, if this is like, because everybody in this studio is really young, but back in the youth, before the internet and all of that stuff, we only had um, Pac-Man. Do you remember doing press flowers? Do you ever do that, pressing flowers? I did it all the time. And these remind me of when you used to illegally pick the pansies out of your mum's um, hanging basket and press those. Look at that. Gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Almost lacy patterns on these, but these would make a nice macrame bracelet, wouldn't they? These would make a, these would make a, a lovely pair of earrings too. Look at that sparkle. Look at that depth. Look at that colour. So pretty. What about with, um, with gold? What, what would you use? it? Gold or silver? Because I think actually either would work very well, wouldn't it? Or maybe you'd go for the aubergine coloured wire. Maybe you would. I, I, I want to know. Give me some more ideas if I'm not spinning enough around for you. Maybe you'd put one of these either end of a chainmail bracelet, because I quite like that idea as well. Maybe you, you've got a Viking knit bracelet and you like a big gemstone on the end of each of those. This will work really well, don't you think? But I, I am a fan of the classic the good old faithful stretchy bracelet and I would double it up because I think there's a lot to be said for a stretchy bracelet like that. You can wear it in the winter because it's nice and chunky but you can wear it with a maxi dress and do you know, can I just tell you the best thing ever about big chunky gemstones like this? They make your wrists look skinny. They're only £6.95. That's one of Victoria Beckham's tips, isn't it? Wear big chunky things like this makes you look skinnier. £6.95. LJP37, sorry, IJGP37, got that code completely wrong, didn't I? IJGP37, 450 characters, these are 14 mil rounds at 695. 0800 oh, 644655. They're brand new. Oh, you throw that one in a bit late. They're brand new. What, and you've launched them at 695, Philip? Woohoo! That's how he rolls, apparently. No, it's not. No, it's not. As soon as the phone goes, that's it. He shies under the table. Six pounds, 95 pence. Today, do you know what happened to my cat today? She went in, in, I didn't think she'd get out of a certain window. She did. She'd never been out before. And I kept hearing, meow. I was, at, I was in, and I was like, where is she? Where is she? Dolly Parton, Dolly Parton, where are you? Um, anyway, I could hear, meow, meow. 
where? She was in the bushes outside. She didn't venture out, so I think she's not going to really like going outside because I got her and then she stayed by me for the rest of... You're, now, you're a cat man, Tom. How do you feel when you let the cat out for the first time? Is it scary? Because I don't really have... Like, she can get out so easily. Leanne worried it. But they just came back, but they're only kittens, so people could steal them because they think they're cute. No? Yeah, but Mai can't keep mine in the garden. I think she can easily get out. I'm scared. Six ninety-five. Am I supposed to put butter on her paws? Because a jewelry maker told me to do that. Because uh, she'll follow the trail that she left with the butter. And I've got a cat flap. Is there certain training involved in a cat flap? Who knows? Or will she just know what to do? Six pounds ninety five. Cats are very clever, aren't they? Because if I let a dog off for the first time, I remember doing it to my dog Winston. That was it, couldn't get him back. I was literally there for about four hours waiting for him to come back. He did not care. Six ninety five. I I was going, Winston! A Fenton. Yeah, it's just in fact it was exactly like that. <sighs> Six, don't get me started on the pig. Six pounds, 95 pence, 0800 644 655. Uh, don't forget to keep those text messages coming. These are brand new. It, was, it did not end up being a micro pig. Mary, it wasn't really my fault they saw City Boy Lee coming. Thought, I'll sell this lad a micro pig. When he came in, went, I bought you a micro pig. I went, that's not a micro pig, that's a pot bellied pig. He's like, is it not? Is this not fully grown? I was like, no, that's a piglet, love. That's going to get massive. And it did. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's a full-on story after that. We won't go into it now. Abigail's got two. Alison's got two. Anonymous in Greater Manchester's got two. Eva, you've got yours. Andrea, Julie, Rachel, jewellery maker in London. Loads of you there. Let us know what you're up to today. It's Super Sunday. Now, I'm going to bring to you our next wonderful brand new Cal Sedney star by. Are you super inspired by Rachel Norris and her beachcomber theme that she's got going on at the moment? I know Fiona Potter's getting very involved with that, and I think Janet was too. Now, I want to show you this beautiful stunt, and I want you to actually think about that beachcomber theme, because for me, I'm looking at, you know when the sun goes down, and it's like, the, there's stripy clouds, does that make sense? Um, and the sun's going down on the beach, and you get this glow, that's exactly what I think this strand is like. Look at, look at each one, and then maybe a seagull, Look, just flying around. Look, don't you think those look like very beachy, very beautiful? If I turn this strand around, it, I think that looks like a bit of a seagull flying. I love this strand. And the sun's going down there over the sea. Can you see that? Do you, do you know what I mean? I, I love this. And you know something? Grey, that dove grey goes so beautifully with pinks. And it's such a lovely neutral colour to have. Look, can you see the glow from these? Look at that. You know you get lab addressings, the glow from these is phenomenal. And that's why it reminds me of the sun setting. Again, uh, uh, it, it's really outstanding, this strand, and it's something like I've never seen before. You can see that, right? You can see how the light's reflecting. It's refracting from inside, it's going dong, 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 dong. All of a sudden, it's just singing at you. I love that. And I think there's so much tranquility to be had by looking at something and thinking about the seaside and about peace. And, you know, these are very peaceful, very calming, aren't they, actually? Very calming. The large 45 by 12. Now actually, that's a pendant there, isn't it? And, and have you got any leather cord? I think if you pop some leather cord through there. I'd like to see these as individual pendants, actually, because, you know, yeah, all right, you could use them as earrings, but I think they are so beautiful, I would certainly separate them all into their own individual piece of jewellery, because I think they deserve it. I think you could really make a feature in wire out of these, but I actually think... You know what? They don't need too much drama at the same time because they, they, these really do glow and I would be very frightened of over wire working these because I think then you would perhaps sacrifice that glow because you wouldn't see it as much. And believe me, that's something... Cal Sedney is really one of my favourites for colour because you really do get great colour with Cal Sedney, don't you? But to see Cal Sedney that glows... It's something that's definitely new to me and certainly something that I want to be investing my jewellery maker money in. It, it is, absolutely. Now, if you're watching at home and you're thinking, right, okay, 
I want to just, uh, do you know what I would actually do with these? Maybe run a very simple bale through there. I'd get, I reckon you could get a good one mil wire through there, lead it up, create a bit of a triangular pendant drop, loop at the top and then on some chain. And whether it's a down to the tummy button chain or up the, to the decollet charge, if you're going to put it against the skin, I think you're going to get the benefit of that glow then, aren't you? Now these are exceptionally beautiful. There's that glow, can you see it? Look at the, right as close to my skin as those gemstones are going. Can you see that glow? Now I'm get this is a different gemstone to the one I showed you I think a minute ago. So it's, it's nice to see that you're getting that. Like the, do you know when the, when the sun tries to burst through a cloud? Look at the very side of that gemstone, the side that's against my skin. Doesn't that remind you of that? Don't you think? Look, can you see that glow? Isn't that gorgeous? Now have you got anything in your collection that does that? Have you ever noticed that before in your cow Sydney? Or is this a really one-off, exceptionally exceptional strand? Now I'm going to show you another one of these. I want you because of course you get different effects. Now the glow is going to be in a different place of these. Look, look for the look for where the clarity is. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's like the sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Now this really is an individual strand. Of, of chalcedony. Now I've never seen anything as beautiful as this chalcedony. I think they are wonderful and please don't forget that you, I'm not doing anything, I've got no torch, that's natural, that light refraction and, and I think it's like the sun setting over, over the sea. When you get this home and you look in natural light, it's just, I mean these are going to really blow your mind. They're those kinds of gemstones that are giving you something totally unexpected. Look at that, that's beautiful, that's beautiful isn't it? You're seeing what I'm seeing there, look. And I took my skin away there and you still got that glow. And then when you place it against the skin, it's even more. Yeah, I'm going to show you some individual pieces because I want you to know that it's not just a one-off. The glow's going to be in a different place of this one. I think it's towards the tip. Can you see? It's, it's here at the top, actually. You're going to get your favourite pieces. See, there. Ooh! Can you see that? Oh, hang on. Let me find it for you again. But when the light hits it, it's just phenomenal. Oh, I couldn't get it then again. Did you see it though when I did it, yeah? There, there, around the edge. Beautiful silver linings, aren't they? And look at this one. Now that's really evident along here. Can you see? Now we're going to give you a launch price. Now I've never given you glowing cow suddenly like this before. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Can you see that glow? Eleven ninety-five for something exceptional. Look at those. They're exceptional. So nice to have something we've never had in our collection before, isn't it? Eleven ninety-five. Snap this up if you do love your different types of gemstones. You're going to adore this. You really are. 0800, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. 0800 644 This is our star buy, and it's just £11.95. RDRU94, you've got 160 carats, and they range between 32 by 11 to 45 by 12 on an 11 centimetre strand. Evelyn's got two. Do you know what, Evelyn? Do you know, I just think you made the right choice because I've never had these kinds of gemstones in my collection. If you've just tuned in, these chalcedonies are glowing and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Uh, see if you can see that. See that glow? Can you see that? They glow. They're just, and that's natural. Uh, I, I, I'm absolutely lost for words over this and that doesn't happen very often with me because I'm a big mouth. Evelyn's got two, Jill you've got yours, Julie, Karen, Trisha, Hazel, Stella, jewellery maker in Greater Manchester, Brenda in Fife, Karina, hello Karina, uh, jewellery maker in Merseyside, Shalou in uh, Greater Manchester, a jewellery maker in Kent, uh, Jill you've got yours, it's great to have you all on board, thank you so much for grabbing this strand, I really think this is going to be one of your favourite strands that you've bought this month so far, 11 um, or in the last couple of months just realised we're only the third day into the month. Oh, it's all happy August. Happy, happy August. August. Have a happy month of Peridot. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Eleven ninety-five. We've got another gorgeous text from a gorgeous jewelry maker. Let's have a look then. Here we go. I have to look over here now. It's from Lou. Hello, Lou again. I know I'm worried about Jenny now. If she tries to teach the cat to use the cat flap, she may get a. <laughs> I tried, my head won't go through there, I already tried. 
<laughs> Can you get my nose through there? Uh, no, it's quite, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those cat flaps. I'm not sure whether it's cat flaps. I'm confused by cat flaps. I'm not going to lie to you. Eleven. Uh, I know, but I don't know whether my cat will get confused by it. She's quite clever. She's going, she's going through this attacky stage at the moment where in the morning she just literally starts attacking you. Really hurts. No, she's got breakfast out there. But she just wants to attack. Oh, she's doing that sucking my, um, like, what's it called, quilt all the time. Yeah, do they do that all the time, cats? Yours have never done that. I think she's still looking for her mother. RDRU94, loads of you have got these. There's still some available. If you would like to know how to buy with us here at The Late Show, if you'd like to know why we're all so crazy, here's some information on that. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show, simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Go tell it on the mountain. Do you remember that song? I haven't sung that in years. I don't know what made me start singing that. Have a look. Hello, darlings. Look what I got for you. Hello. Look at that fire. Incredible Ethiopian opal. Gorgeous. It's really annoying that I can't show how much fire is in this stand because they're super duper fiery. That's why I'm just, hang on, let me, does it help if I do that or does that not help at all? It's very fiery. We'll have to get, Dan, you'll have to get really close. Really close later on, Dan. All right. Now. Oh, you want me to get close now, Dan? All right then. Go on then, why not? Yeah. Oh, should we start with it? Oh, all right then, eh? Look at this. Now, I've given this strand to you before. We saw that they were available. I did one of my baguette throwing tantrums. And here it is in its utter glory. Do you know why I love Ethiopian opal? It's so ridiculously beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? It's got this golden hue to it that you don't necessarily... Oh my God, hang on. Oh yes, you need these. That Now believe me, um, the, the opal essence that you see there, that pin fire, when you get it home, will feel like 20 times stronger because we really struggled to show you opal essence and, and iridescence from Moonstone and things because we've got so many studio lights. That is absolutely incredibly powerful and they say that this gemstone is lucky and I would always say there's this is totally a genealogy I would say that the more pin fire the luckier they are that's what I think 
It's a genology. Yeah, all right? It's in the genuary, not the dictionary. Genctuary. Now, Ethiopian opal. Ethiopian opal, I want to talk to you about how important Ethiopian opal is actually. For Ethiopia, in, in 1995, during an archaeological dig, they discovered some tools, which isn't, un, which isn't unheard of, is it? They, archaeologists find a lot of tools, ancient tools. But on these ancient tools, the reason they were different is because they had opal on the handles, decorative um, features of opal. Well, the archaeologists said that, and, and I, my sister is a doctor of history, and they get really into this kind of thing. Now, obviously, because that's what they're excited by. Um, and I actually do. I do as well. Very Indi Indiana Jones kind of moment. There's no way these quality opals came from outside of Africa. So they started searching for the opal. They found it in Ethiopia. And um, I love that. So, so automatically now we're mining in Ethiopia, which means there's jobs. Mining in Ethiopia, which is wonderful for Ethiopia, isn't it? And then they passed a law, which is another great thing, and I love this because they need that, don't they? That you can only facet Ethiopian opal in Ethiopia, which is brilliant because now there's a whole new line of work for lapidus in Ethiopia. And it's usually a, a, a thing that you pass down from generation to generation. So it's a whole train of, of career opportunities now in Ethiopia. And I know there's nothing to do with your jewelry essentially, but it's a nice bit of history. So when you're talking to your customers, you can engage with them. Stella says, hi, Jenny. Is this the strand you said was like fairies in a... Yes, this is it. It's like fireflies dancing around. That, that's the exact same strand. That's it. Thank you, Stella. You've got great memory. Uh, I hope so because I missed out on them, uh, which means this is my second chance. Now, do you know why we've got some of these left? Unchecked baskets. Because I do you remember that. Do you remember, Stella? It's sold out. These are the unchecked basket strands, which means you are getting a second chance. Now, fireflies dancing around. That's what this reminds me of. Definitely fairies in a jar. They are that full of opalescence. They are just beautiful when you look at gemstones like this i think you think of magic there is no way you can't think. mother nature is so incredible look look at that and it's to me that's magic i don't care about your science that's blinking magic <coughs> now i'm already seeing very busy phone and i don't want you to miss out for this of this of the second chance now, do you know something? You get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so that's when you think about it. Now, I don't know when you're going to... I don't know. I'm going to rephrase that. I don't know if you're ever going to see this strand again. Thank goodness you're getting a second chance. Look, look at that. Now, I am really close to those gemstones for a reason. Look at that. Undeniably, some of the best, if not the best opal. Do you remember the um, fasted opal I once gave to you? I, I love opal so much. I fell in love with opal a long time ago. My mum's got an opal ring that she's had since I can, well, since I was tiny. And look, do you see, that's all across this, all across this. Now, so I fell in love with opal because it's something that my mum wears. Her birthday is October the 21st, so it's her birth gemstone. I think this is the, this is the gemstone to wish upon. You know when you, like I was saying earlier, what you feel like something so magical, you want to make a wish on it. This is, this is, I would make a wish on these, I would. I think they're beautiful, they're ethereal. There's something very magical about these. They come in a Gems of Distinction box. They're packaged beautifully and they deserve that. Look, look, come on, you need these. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen that pair of um, earrings designed by Jean Schlumberger, which contains, look, at, uh, look up, Jean Schlumberger, okay, opals, and moonstone earrings. Now I'd have to remortgage to buy those earrings. That's how expensive they are. They and there's a brooch. There's a brooch as well. Absolutely heavenly and divine. The world loves opal. If you go to um, the Bond Street Jewelers, you'll see a lot of opal in the Burlington Arcade. It's it's, it's massively focused on opal. Now these should be, now if, you, if I was pricing these on their beauty, they'd be over a hundred pounds and, and that, without change. They are phenomenally beautiful. Make that trilogy ring something so special in your collection. And I'm gonna give them to you for under, 
Now, when I first gave these to you, I didn't know the price. I remember thinking that, uh, in fact, Danny might have even said they're going to be, you know, about 60, 70 pounds. And I thought, now, do you know what? I can justify every penny of that. I can. And, and you know, I, I like to think that I'm as honest as, I'm always honest with you. I, and you know that. I, I tell you things I shouldn't tell you all the time. All the time. But I think this is brilliant value. 34.95. Please remember that you can take advantage of your 30 day money back guarantee with these. Tracy, you've got yours. Stella, Anonymous in Greater London, Margaret, Glenda, Dorothy, Jacqueline, Francis, Alison, Emma, Chris in New Mexico. Now, Chris, I think you might have got the first strand. Chris, um, I, I do notice that you buy a lot of Opal, so you must love them. It's great to have you all the way from New Mexico. Christine, you've got yours. Anonymous in Norfolk, you've got yours. Thank you so much for trusting me and getting these because they are worth every penny. They're October's birth gemstone. They've been used in jewelry for hundreds of thousands of years and they're absolutely beautiful. 34.95 Ethiopian Opal. Don't we love what Ethiopian Opal stands for? Don't we love what it's doing for Ethiopia? Not only is it gonna offer you a beautiful gemstone, it's gonna make gorgeous pieces of jewelry. It's also helping Ethiopia, opening up an opportunity of careers. It's wonderful. What a wonderful, magical offering from Mother Nature. 34.95, you believe in those little miracles, you're gonna definitely believe in this strand. 34 pounds, 95 pence. E R Y Y 43, they're absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you're checking out your basket, it's the last chance for those. Now, I'm gonna go with that moonstone as well. Now, I'm gonna give to you, hang on, something that's a little bit bling. I feel like I should go, maybe we should be drinking cocktails right now, Dan. Mm. What's your cocktail of choice, sir? Yeah, anything fruity. Anything fruity? Anything really fruity. Bit of a pina colada? Are you coconutty or are you not, not coconut? What's the one that comes in a giant, um, a giant pineapple? Mai Tai, is that it? Well, you get it in Thailand. Yeah. yeah, it's a Mai Tai, isn't it? Oh, you'd like them. I saw some strawberry or something like that. Strawberry daiquiri, that's my favorite. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm partial to a daiquiri. We should go out daiquiri drinking, Dan. You having a daiquiri on your lunch break? You used to have a daiquiri on your lunch break on the cruise ship, says producer Philip. Phil, where did you used to go when cruising? Do you miss it, Dan? Oh, yeah. Do you miss it, Phil? What was your job there, darling? Oh, I bet you love that. Now look at these. They're, is it reminding you of cocktails and dancing, these two together? Oh, are you doing Alice and Terry's shoe? Did you see the shoe? Did you? Did you? Oh, my daughter's stolen them. Now, if you would like to do the shoe design. Evening glamorous shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, a, a, a wonderful lady just posted on my page. I only saw it, her daughter's attempt at the shoes and they were amazing. I didn't get time to comment because it's about to go on air. Now, you've got two strands here. I'm gonna show you some made up jewelry. And this was by Suzanne. Gorgeous Suzanne. New, new grandma. New grandma Suzanne, yeah? She's not known as Suzanne anymore, it's Nanny. Nana, I think she's Nana. I'm gonna call her Nana Beading. Nana Beady. That's what her new name is. Oh, that's gorgeous, Nana Beady. Look at this. I hope she's watching. Nana. Oh. That's beautiful, she's good. And she's been busy being a grandma and everything. Look at that. I bet she loves being a grandparent. She can give them back and spoil them. Now, I'm gonna give you both strands for 13 pounds and 90 pence. On an ordinary day, but we're not gonna, you know what, if you were shopping online for these individually, you should be paying that price tag. However, we love you, it's the late show. And if you want some bling, if you're creating Christmas decorations or Christmas please $7.95 for both strands. They're long as well. You've got the gold in there. They're very Christmassy, actually, aren't they? Very gorgeous. 65 in the, in the, um, in the gold. And you've got uh, 70 characters in the metallic blue. Now, it's calling these silver. 
on the it's, but it's metal it's not that's gold look it's goldy i'd say they were gold would you look at that they're absolutely glamorous they are the glamorous duo i'm going to just put them i'm going to do a couple of things now now that is very christmassy oh i like that now also i'm going to do something else with the gold the blue i think i'm going to save for my party pieces <gasps> Oh my gosh, glamour, glamour, glamour. Suzanne. What, Nana Bead? Oh, Suzanne by not, not Sue. Oh, sorry, you're not Nana. Uh, hello, Suzanne, my love. Mwah. Sorry, you're not a Nana yet. I don't think. You're not, are you? No. Now, have a look at these. I thought that... Um, I thought Suzanne was in, uh, Sue was in uh, accounts for years. Seven pounds and 95 pence, look at that. Look at those together, they're gorgeous. <gasps> ladder weave, I'm really into my ladder weaves again at the moment. Do you ever get that technique where you just forget that you love it and, because you've done other stuff for ages and then you do it and you're like, where have you been ladder weave? How could I forget your beauty and your wonder? That's how I feel about ladder weave this week. Now also I'm thinking bead loom. These are loomable, and I love them for that. They're also great for Sutash, for your beaded chains, aren't they? Great for the speedy chains. I'm thinking beady beads. I'm thinking as accents in between. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's that black spinel gone? Put it back. Did I put it back? That's not like me. It. It's not like me to put it in the correct box for you to pack it away. Don't worry, darling. I was just thinking it would look nice with that. Seven ninety-five. Oh, he's got it. He's good, isn't he? Of course, I'm used to I'm used to um, posh Scott, who didn't really do a lot apart from sleep. Everybody says that. No, it was brilliant. <laughs> One day I um, looked at him and he was literally asleep, and then he went. <laughs> I was like, "Yes, you're asleep. I love it." No, he's not with us anymore. He's not dead. He just left. <laughs> Have a look. And I re I can I tell you something? I really miss him. Oh, do you miss him as well? He's such a character, Scott. Should we, you know, like Ferris Bueller, save Ferris. Should we do a bring back Scott? Do you know why he left? No, he just didn't. He wasn't going to uni. No, he hasn't. They stopped the course. Do you know what he? Um, but do you know why he left? Because work wasn't really for him. Which I love him for. He wasn't. He didn't lie. He just put it out there on the table. Work size not really for me. This working thing. <laughs> Look at those together. Seven ninety-five. Loads of you love this. Let us know what you're up to today, Joanne. And I've been working since I was like twelve. How old was I when I had a paper round? Twelve. Oh no, I did other things before that. Do you know, what? I'd set up a car washing business. I just go up and down my street and wash the cars. Then knock on the door and say, I "Wash your car. You owe me two pounds." It was brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, now, uh, that, that, that lasted for about a year, I think, till Rosie Radford Scans took over. People. You are sorry? Scans people. No, they Scans liked my car washing. <laughs> and they kind of like, you know, I knew everyone on the street. It was countryside, yes, wasn't it? Everyone knew each other. It. Wow. <laughs> when you're a kid, you can get away with things like that, can't you? Yeah, okay. Somebody, yeah, as an adult, they'd be like, well, whatever, on your bike. No. <laughs> Brian in Berkshire, sitting in the evening sun, Drinking rosé. Oh, I'm coming over, Bryony. Uh, having spent the weekend with my daughter designing her wedding jewellery. Perfect weekend. That is a perfect weekend. I can't. Are you a bit teary about it, Bryony? I think I'm going to cry, cry, cry when my daughter gets married. Now, let's give you... Should we do some charms? Do you know what? They're not even in here. Where, what do I do with them? Oh, there they are. Are they both of them there, loves? No, no, one of them, these yeah. ones? Yeah, let's do these ones then. All right. Come on then. Now. Have a look. Am I calmer than usual? Am I? Have a look. I think, do you know what it is? Now, Tom has not produced me for two years now, a year and a half, directed me. I think it's the effect 
a man has on me, do you think, or not? Was I single before? A bit mental? Yeah. Calms me down, that one. No. <laughs> Tom! <laughs> you don't want to know what you said. No. Have a look at these. Would you, I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm going to be really honest with you. Do you know what I would do? I would actually take that off which is the opposite thing that I should probably say to you because they are designed to stay together. Do you know why I would take it off? These are absolutely wonderful connectors for bracelets. So I'm gonna use that, but these are amazing. Well, they're bezels, aren't they? If you go on to certain, well, they're perfect pendants, perfect earrings if you bought two sets, but also, look at that. That's all done by hand. It is incredible, isn't it? And it's absolutely beautiful, rose gold on copper, e-coated. I love that. It's all done by hand. So you get, and the reason I love that is because you get great clarity because it's semi-bezel set, so it's not all the way around the back. So you get a wonderful clarity. Do you know what? These would actually look lovely on a ring, do you think? And I think very professional as well. Now... So I would, if I'm honest with you, I'd actually take those off and use the connectors. You're not just getting one, though. I'll show you my favourite. Look at that one. Peach Moonstone. Look at that. Now, that's so pretty. If you get quite close to that, you'll be able to see how gorgeous they are. It is a little bit like Sunstone, actually, because of the colour, but it's so... It's like... This wonderful powdery iridescence, glittery, fine glitter iridescence that you're getting. And because of the, the facets, isn't it, aren't they gorgeous? They're beautiful, aren't they? And then I'm gonna give you another one as well. Look at the example that you get here. I wanna show you the quality of this lapis lazuli. I've always been a big fan of lapis lazuli, as you know. Or you might not know, actually, presuming you know stuff. And again, faceted. Now that, to me, with the gold, I, I love it. It reminds me of the Gaudi, Barcelona. Does it you? I don't even know why. It just does. I absolutely love that. Now, you're going to get a brilliant price tag. I, these launched a lot higher than that, didn't they, Philip? They should be 11 95 for all three, yeah? Actually, to be honest, I think that's quite a good price tag. So I would use these... Do you know, you could put these all in a necklace. They would go really nicely in a tiered necklace. That would be quite Victorian, actually, like that, wouldn't it? Oh, actually, I really like that. Like that, staggered like that. On a necklace, that would be very Victorian. You could use these as earrings. I, you know, like I said, and, I, and I, you know, I probably shouldn't tell you to take them apart, but I think I would. I know a lot of jewellery makers would, because they come as a two set, but then you've got three connectors there as well. Now, they're not 11 95 they're 7 95 for all three. So you're getting a last in, cha uh, last in chance opportunity. I don't know what I was about to make me make but it won't right. 7 95 for a last in stock opportunity. One must learn to uh, put words in the correct order if one's going to have this sort of career. Look. <laughs> and the amethyst. And they said my big mouth wouldn't uh, get me nowhere. Look at that, and the, and the moonstone. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Seven pounds and 95 pence, KSG C92. Uh, Anonymous in Leicestershire, you've got yours. Gloria, Rachel, you've got yours in London. I was in London, it was in your neck of the woods yesterday. Uh, West Lothian, you've got yours. Shalou in Greater Manchester, well done. Jennifer's got two. Look at, and, and I would multiply these because then you've got pairs and you've got earrings, haven't you? And, and that is a good price tag for all of these gorgeous gems. And they look professional. Don't you think that they look like, well, they look like you've bought them from a jeweller's, the bezel sets. And like I said, I mean, I would take them apart, but you don't have to. And they do come, obviously, with a loophole at the top, which you can, you can keep on there. Or, or you don't have to if you're making a ring. You could slip it off. Seven ninety five. What are you going to do with yours? KSGC92. The... Um, the text message subject of the day was, uh, have you ever been to a wedding where something crazy has happened um, off the back of Phil going to a wedding yesterday and me being a crazy bridesmaid, probably not the best bridesmaid in the world, but I was a bridesmaid nonetheless to my, one of my dear friends, Belinda Newell, no brain, Belinda brain, 
That made me laugh. Seven ninety-five, BB. And she's been asking her now husband for nine and a half years for a pet pug. He is still saying no. So I say just get the pug. What do you say to Belinda? Seven ninety-five. Loads of you there. Do you know, in, in Gloucestershire, the news on the street today, well, the last couple of days, uh, has been that the Banksy has been um, vandalised. Yeah, in Cheltenham. Can you believe that? It's right literally across the road from my sister's house. Um, but apparently there was some lacquer put on it, so it's savable. It's naughty, isn't it? Why would you just do that? I don't know. What's wrong with... What's wrong with them? I don't know. What's, I don't know. Uh, seven night A, let's not put the world to rights. We'll be here all day. What would you do if that was your child that got found? I mean, I'd go mad. What's the punishment? What's the, what are the rules? 795 KSG C92. Loads of you there. Now, um, I'm going to give you some chain. You said wire, Phil. It's a good job I know what you mean with your mixed up words. I'm going to give you some chain. Let me... It's all right. No. Let me see. Sorry, I was just undoing it because it was stuck. We've only got 20 left of these. Now, I actually think these look good on your, um, on your jewellery making shelf. You know how seamstresses have um have the big reels of cotton and stuff the big big bobbins they look good don't they i like them like cinderella when the mice make stuff they've got all those like bagpuss the mice on there you know i think it just makes you look professional and when you've got the chain did you see Gemma crow's chain dress oh did you only see it yesterday oh amazing now actually when Gemma made that dress we didn't have any of these she was waiting and waiting waiting and then it was too late because she had the occasion and she needed to she needed to um make the dress and she looked amazing didn't she look at this chain now this chain has got really nice large links for you not too big that it can't be considered a finer chain but they're nice and open so you can pop a jump ring in there so the they could be made into charm bracelets or anklets uh, you could put these in ear you chain in the earrings you could use this to embellish in fact costumes or dresses or use this in a seamstressy way if you wanted to i think i think it's a really nice addition to your stash especially if you do have jewelry parties coming up especially if you do have those occasions where you're like where you need a lot of stock and you don't want to run out of chain do you you get 10 meters of it now um, ordinarily if you were going to order if you were going to order 10 meters you'd have to go on that famous um auction site one wouldn't you and get it from there and it would be coming from china maybe or somewhere like that and a, if you've never ordered from there, you're a bit dubious of the quality. Now, you know with us, we're shipping from the Midlands. So if you want to send it back, it's not, it's not going to take three weeks. Send it back to us and be with us in days. And you know that you've got that 30-day money-back guarantee. And you know that we give you so much backup. So you know what? It's always a good idea to grab and, and, and get from where you know, don't you think? Uh, I am. I mean, I'm a big risk. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not afraid of a being a risk taker. But I always think when you're buying something. Uh, hi everyone. I wanted to let you know. I saw four meters of aluminium chain in a craft shop for fourteen pounds. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. What Bobby Shaft? Twelve ninety five. Not f how many meters was that? Four meters. This is real silver on copper, e-coated, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Not 14 pounds, 12.95. Incredible. And what would that have been the equivalent of, meter for meter? 37 pounds, we're not charging you that. We're giving you 10 meters for 12.95. Incredible price tag. Peggy and Mick in Oxfordshire, you've got yours. Joanne, you've got yours in Gloucestershire, the aforementioned Gloucestershire. Uh, Yvonne in Aberdeenshire has got two. May in County Down, you've got yours. Um, I've got Beverly, Maxine, Jackie, Suzanne. Barbara's in Suffolk, Evelyn in Kent. Jacqueline's in Gloucestershire. Or did I already say that? Was it Yes, it was. Sorry, Jacqueline said that twice. Tina and Cheshire, if you all check out your basket. Oh, no, I didn't. It was Joanne in Gloucestershire. Uh, see, I love it. And we had our fellow Gloucestershireian in today, didn't we? Have a look at this. The lovely Michelle was in. 12 95 
incredible price tags. Please keep those text messages coming. We love your interaction. We love it. We love a bit of interaction. What have you been up to? I went to see Thriller yesterday. Do you know who was in it? And I realised, and I said to Lee, who's my other half, that's Cleopatra coming at you. You remember Cleopatra coming at you? She was Michael Jackson in it, the female version of Michael Jackson. It was confusing. It was very good. She was very good. Uh, what did you get up to yesterday? What did you do? Uh, Janet Norfolk says, Hi, Jenny. Your kitten is sucking the blanket for comfort. She's probably paddling her feet. Yeah, she's doing this. It hurts when she does it to you. This is how they get milk. Oh, is she teething? I don't know. I thought that today. Maybe she's still got her little kitten teeth. So maybe she's being quite bitey. She's biting me a lot. I can show you some bites probably. You're good for that? Okay. 12 95 these are gone. They've sold out. <laughs> You're good for that. Yeah, when cats attack. <sighs> Has anyone ever seen Sharknado? I've heard about it. I want to put that out there. Sharknado, everybody. Sharks caught in a tornado. <laughs> Sharknado. Genius. Oh, they're doing Sharknado too, aren't they? I just love it. Whoever thought of that title knew what they were talking about, didn't they? Let's make a film about nothing really but call it Sharknado. Who doesn't want to see a film called Sharknado? Now it's time. Where is it? Oh, there it is. For your next Star By. I love tourmaline because it's got such a huge array of colour to it, hasn't it? And, and I actually think you have to really look, at, it reminds me of a big fruit basket, like a harvest festival basket. You've got these grape colours in there, you've got these wonderful gooseberry greens, you've got some amazing rhubarbs in there, some nutty colours in there as well. So definitely for me it's a bit of a September basket, a bit of a harvest festival basket of colours. Do you think that? Do you love, do you remember harvest festival? I used to love that. Now, yeah, bring. My mum used to do a massive basket. It was always a big, um, a big competition with uh, who could make the most glorious harvest festival offering in our village. Look at these. Look at the colours. Aren't they fantastic? Look at that. Look at that pink. Look at that red. That rubellite red. Beautiful. I love this. And I always think. I. I. I do you know what? I think this is. It's a gemstone that you should get if you don't already. It's one of um, October's birthstones, along with, of course, opal, which you know I love. And I, I just think these have got such a pretty array of colours. a very potpourri strand, actually, I think, aren't they? Again, I was talking about pressed flowers earlier, and I think you've got all those lovely colours of nature in tourmaline. And I really think you're going to enjoy colour graduating. I know Mark Smith's a massive fan of tourmaline, and he does like to colour graduate them, which is lovely, isn't it? And, and I think, actually, unless you get this home, I always think when I look at the screen, it doesn't look as colourful on the screen so to you at home now as it actually does when you've got it in front of you because these really are very it's a very bountiful um, strand of colour is what you've got and, a real, uh, uh, and lots of uh, variants of colour of course see that can't, look at those I, I love that I really like that I really really love that yeah you do get your favourites don't you but do you know what it is I actually think by putting them together they become even more incredibly beautiful. So whether you're going to graduate them, uh, whether you're going to separate them and, and do a really, a really amazing fusion of colours, I, I love these on a rosary link. I love them. Do you remember when everything I did was a rosary link? It was. It came after the stretchy bracelet phase. It was in between the um, stretchy bracelet period and the uh, making lots of earring period. Then came the rosary link. Rosary linking was the first sort of thing that I did that actually looked really professional, and I got slightly excited by it. So if you're at that at that level, if you're if you're if you're creating a stretchy and you're ready to make the leap into something else, like, let me recommend a good old rosary link for you. SCP042, this is a brand new strand. They're supposed to be nine. What do you mean we're not doing them at that price tag anymore? Okay, we're not doing that price now. Okay, what are you going to do then, darling? 7.95, says Phil in his radio voice. That's what we do, he says. No, oh, no, it's not Phil. Press wrong button, love. 
Oh, no, no, you didn't. £7.95 pence is your price tag. Have you, ever, have you ever been told not to press a button and then pressed it? Oh, there you go. Is that the worst thing to say to someone? Whatever you do, don't, don't press, press that. Five minutes in. I like doing that. Run! What's going to happen? I don't know. It could be an explosion. Who knows? SCP-042, 150 carats of gorgeous tourmaline said to protect you from ill fortune and definitely um, an association with love and friendship towards this gemstone, £7.95. pence. No, they do let me in hospitals. I'm not going to do it in a hospital, Anna. I wear all the equipment. In CAR, he said, and I looked at, I did this. What are you talking about, me? Central apparatus. I, I'm not allowed in there. I'm not allowed in there for a reason. Yeah, I know. Do you know, there is a sign saying, Jenny Cleary must not enter in that, in that particular. There's a, a picture of my face with a cross. <laughs> Do not enter. This is a no Cleary zone. 7.95 S. See, I met another Jenny Cleary. I've forgotten to tell you all. I was, listen to this. No, she wasn't. She was normal. Um, she was. There was a girl you know, competing against Mia last week. There was Mia Cleary and Courtney Cleary. I was like, Courtney Cleary? What are the odds? We never meet other Clearys. It was like, how dare she be a Cleary? Mm -hmm. You're not related to me. I don't know you. Are you authentic? Are you really, are you McCleary and you've dropped the M? Who are you? And then someone went, Jennifer, to her mum. Jennifer, Jenny, Jenny Cleary. And we both went, yeah? And I went, that, that's me. I'm Jenny Cleary. She went, no, 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 it's me. I went, no, I'm Jenny Cleary. She went, no, I'm Jenny Cleary. I was like, sorry, no, you're wrong. I am Jenny Cleary. She was, anyway, this went on. And then in the end, we both agreed that we were both called Jenny Cleary. Have you ever met anyone with your name? Because automatically you do not like them. Because you're like, that is my name. It. It's like they've taken your husband when they, they've got your name. Like, it's that offensive. <laughs> How dare you have my name? Maybe I like her. Maybe she's the more perfect version of me. Parallel universe, we shouldn't have merged. When what, sorry, when can she start? Don't you think it's weird that we're in the same place at the same time and we both have the same name? Yeah. It's like the Truman Show, isn't it? I think maybe I live on that show. Maybe she's future me because she was older. Oh, I'm confused. She could have been, her daughter was older, she was older, she looked a little bit like me. Her daughter did have a different name. And I'm not going to have any more children in the past. Could have been my grandchild. Shut up, what's in number eight? I've never seen these. They're coming up later. Right, now, sorry. Which one do you want me to do, my love? Mm -hmm. Number three, tickle my knee. <laughs> don't ever touch my knee, actually. I don't like it. Have a look. I'm not, I am getting better now with that touching thing. Yeah, I never used to let people hug me or anything. I used to hate it. Because I never used to, remember why? I used to feel like they're going to crush me or do something I don't want them to um, like kiss me or sniff me because I don't want to be sniffed don't you hate it when people sniff you yeah I didn't like that now I'm okay with it you can sniff away now <laughs> sorry Ali's not Ali's much more professional than me isn't she sorry so Phil, Phil is used to having Ali Defoy as his presenter I think she's more professional. She doesn't mind it if you sniff her. Have a look. <laughs> Not that defines your professionalism, your ability to be sniffed. Now, um... <laughs> imagine that in the uh, job interview. Yeah. Do you do like you, being sniffed? Do you like being sniffed? No! Right, you're not hired. <laughs> it's not the scratch and sniff show. Now... <laughs> With the chain later on, this is absolutely blissful, isn't it? Do you think that's gorgeous? Oh, uh, did you see all the gorgeous uh, jewellery for Eid last week? Well, I actually think these together with the chain, because uh, you get another Eid in, is it May? Let me know if you're watching and you celebrate Eid. Is it, I think you get another, you, another no, it's a couple of months, isn't it, your, your next Eid? Wouldn't these be gorgeous together? Aren't they fabulous? These are very bridal together as well. 
have a look at the, well, you saw, didn't you, that blue iridescence. Now, you remember earlier I was saying to you, you know, some certain gemstones you want to make a wish upon. You know that um, actually the, the elvish pendant in the Lord of the Rings is made out of moonstone. And I think they probably thought really hard about um, simulating a gemstone, making a gemstone that sort of they did a special sort of strobe effect on. But then they came across moonstone. I don't know how and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I mean, look, look, look at that. It's striking. It is like magic, isn't it? Don't you think? And and if you were gonna if you were gonna ask my Mother Nature to give us anything that looked magical, it would be moonstone. It would be labradorite. It'd be those opals we had earlier. And I, and I just think it's you know what you can't really deny that magical quality, that magical beauty, can you? You know that's natural. And and I know we look at things and and we sort of well, I think maybe we we dilute their beauty by talking about science a little bit you know and i am from a background of a few sciencey people but i believe in magic and fairies and dragons and unicorns and things because it's much nicer lxr u37 aren't they beautiful tear that oh you're gonna get in huge trouble for that philip are you mad do you know why what, what you're going to get in trouble for that price tag? Because tomorrow, if we do a strand for twenty four ninety five, justifiably that price tag, you've done that for that. You're going to be up in the... I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Defoy might not have your back. I have. Look at this. Luscious Lady Defoy, if you're watching, hello, stroke that bunny for us. Look at this rainbow moonstone just gorgeous top drilled cascade them from earrings make sure you cluster them they're just so beautiful have a look at the color the clarity this is really tixi. they're only 6.95 they should have sold out in a massive in a strike of lightning six pounds 95 pence loads of you there now it, you know what risk free 30 day money back guarantee best price best price i've seen for rainbow moonstone are you crazy Look at the size of them. Well, of course, they were supposed to be 9.95. No, actually, Phil, that was the rock bottom price tag. You're not supposed to slash upon a slash. Sue, you've got yours. Jacqueline, you've got yours. Anonymous, you've got three. Do you know what? Multi buy, multi -buy them. Absolutely, you're not going to see these every day. Please don't expect that chain to go for that price tag, which is exactly why we shouldn't be going for those price tags. But there we are. The chain will not be 6.95. Look at that. Look, 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 at, you can see the quality. If you're going to get the chain, get this as a little addition. Absolutely. The chain will not be a price tag anywhere near this, anywhere near this. £6.95. Crazy, it was crazy, that price tag. Look at the, look at the size of these. I would do the cascading earrings with it. Six ninety-five. Absolutely loads of you. Can I just say, I don't know why you've done that, that price tag, I don't. Because at nine ninety-five that was special launch price. Six ninety-five actually probably is gonna get Phil into a little bit of trouble. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, if somebody puts this in their show tomorrow or the next day see 6.95 and they're mean they could tell on Phil for that now if they sell out today Phil won't get into trouble because nobody will put them in their schedule to tell on Phil Dion is not a grass now I would be very worried about that. I, do you know? Can I just say also? I feel a little bit confused. That's why I've gone a bit. Uh, uh, uh. Um, Six ninety five is not a generic price tag for moons, rainbow moonstone. It isn't. It shouldn't be that price tag. And but we've got done that price tag nonetheless. Six ninety five. Now, that is absolutely, completely and utterly ridiculously low ridiculously low i don't get price tags like that on the afternoon show for moonstone i don't i don't six nine, and to be honest with you right now on a weekday nobody's in the office are they 
And it's a weekend, so nobody's in the office today. Now, if I did that on my show, everybody would be upstairs still in management. I'd get into some serious razzle over that. Can I just, sh look how beautiful these are. Are you compromising on the beauty of Moonstone? No, you're not, are you? You can see that blue iridescence. You can see, actually, we don't always see clarity with Moonstone. This is June's birth gemstone. These, I do think, will also, uh, with my hand on my heart, cross my heart, I hope to die, stick seven needles in my eye. I promise you that this is a really low price, a crazy price tag. And I also promise you that I think it's the best idea to multi-buy. I also promise you, with my hand on my heart, they are beautiful, and you can send them back if you don't agree with me. So you are not missing out in any way whatsoever. This price tag, six pounds and 95 pence for very, very striking Moonstone is completely and utterly crazy. And I'm not gonna stop giving you these until every single one sells out. So I'm gonna stay here because otherwise, Phil, you're gonna get massively in trouble for that. Uh, Sam and Kevin, you've got yours. Fiona, Rachel, Janet, Kimberly. Linda in Kentucky. Hello to you, my lovely. Trish you've got yours Karen's got three Stella you've got yours Lynette Malcolm's got two Zoe you've got yours Janet and Ray Joyce you've got yours Alison in Buckinghamshire Rachel Joan Alison oh Alison you've got two well done you were called in twice Sue's got three uh, Sue in Lanarkshire you've got yours Sue in Greater Manchester you've got yours Beatrice uh, ja Jacqueline uh, Rachel Margaret Jeanette Jean I've got loads of you shopping for these Anonymous in Greater London you've just put three in your basket John Cherylyn uh, Sarah Hello, Sarah, Alvin, uh, Janine, you've got yours, Samantha, you've got yours, Julie, you've got yours, Hilary, you've got yours, Jill, you've got another Jill, you've got yours, Elizabeth, you've got yours. You need to check out baskets. You know what? Six ninety-five is not a price tag that I think we will ever see. And that chain is going higher than that, I promise you, with my hand on my heart. That chain should not... We shouldn't really give you these, especially off the back of the fact that I've got Moonstone chain, which is going to be more expensive. And you're going to think, oh, well, that's expensive, but it isn't because these are too inexpensive. Do you know what I mean? 6.95 these should not be this price tag they absolutely bloom and well shouldn't LXRU37 is your item code look at the iridescence and look at the clarity now that price tag is going up when our show finishes and if they're not sold out sorry not at the end of the show an hour and if you don't if they don't sell out Phil's going to get slightly fired. John, you've got two. Well done. I'm just, Abigail's got three. Well done. Do multi-buy these. Sharon uh, in Cambridgeshire and another Sharon. Alex in Gloucestershire. Belinda, you've got your six pounds, 95 pence. Do not leave this unchecked. How many have we got left, Philip? Is there enough? So three quarters of the stock has gone. June and we've still got lots in baskets so there is a chance you're going to miss out on this which is good for Phil because it means if they sell out he's not going to get found out it's 10 to 7 which means probably everyone sat down to dinner so we're lucky 6.95 crikey let us know as well this is what I want to know have you got any secret tips for roast dinners maybe something you do to your gravy or your Yorkshires maybe something you put with something and everyone thinks mmm yeah, the fat's got to be in the oven before you put the Yorkshire pudding in, hasn't it? Otherwise, it doesn't rise. I need a Yorkshire pudding tin because I haven't got one. The little... I'm going to go and buy one of them. Now, we, um, we're struggling now because we haven't got an oven. Because I had to turn my agar off because it was crazy. So hot. Yeah, and so we got a little halogen oven. Now, they're good, they are, though. Can I highly recommend them for you? Now, solid stones over. Did you get the feathers? with Sheila on Friday, I think it was Friday. I love Sheila, those designs are amazing. Feathers, lace, uh, these are gonna go very nicely with the feathers, because they are. Now, they could be feathers, they could be wings, they could be leaves. It's up to you, really, isn't it? Whatever you make, I actually think they could be uh, angel wings. They also look like, you know when you see an Art Deco stage, the lighting at the front? They look like that, don't they? Is that what they're called, birdies, are they? Why don't we have those on modern stages, or do we? They're called birdies. You, you know, Tom's wife is in the theatre, darlings. 
Uh, now these are gorgeous, aren't they? I would I would put these with the um, with the feathers because I think these could look a bit like feather tops, couldn't they? Sorry, I keep dropping them. Um, but they're also great charms. Should we look at the? There we go. Now they've got good drill hole sizes as well. Let's have a look for you. Um, I think you get at least a one mil through there. Have a look, see what you think. There you go. What do you think? Have I got wire? Have I right here? One table. Oh, it's on the table. No, it's skinny wire, that one. I reckon you get a one mil in there. Let me know if you've got these. And you've already, now you've got the gold and you've got the rosa gold and you get five of each. Five of the nine carat, five of the rose gold. They look lovely together, don't they? Quite Cartier together, actually, aren't they? And, and you know, can I just say, they're big. And these are, um, they're not flat on one side, so they're three dimensional. Is that, what, is that what that means? Did you forget how stupid I was? Yeah, you did, didn't you? So actually, these are going to be great to um, in, use as, that's twisted wire, but we'll give it a bash. Because like, it's double the size if it's twisted. It will go in if it's circuit. What's that? That's that's two mil. Because it's two lots of one mil. It's one mil twisted wire, two lots. So that actually, well, that just goes to show one mil would definitely go through. 17.90 is what you should be paying. Thanks, Dan, Dan, cameraman. But we're going down sterling silver, two, uh, so totally precious metal. All yours were just £12.95. Great, great price tag there for you. Uh, make sure you are checking out baskets. If you love your charms, if you got the charms earlier, if you got the feathers on Friday, I think these are going to work really well with the feathers. If you want to put them in a bubble bracelet, if you want them in a really long over the head necklace that's sectioned off with a couple of inches of chain and these, that would look great. £12.95, pence. absolutely loads of you on my phone, it's great to see your names, you've got 30 days in your money back guarantee, so never, never worry. Don't forget to text us, we want to keep it interactive with you this evening. Thanks, Dad. don't worry love, don't worry, but thanks, oh, all right, go on. You, you, go on, I don't want you to waste your time, otherwise you never get that bit of your life back. It's going to be harder to put twisted wire through there, do you know why, because it's twisted, oh, it's, it wasn't harder. There you go, one mil, plenty of room. That actually is quite nice. Looks a bit like a heart now. It's like that game where you can't touch the meh. Yeah. Right, my little love cakes. Now it's time for a wire duo in your next star buy. <laughs> Have you got your wire twister tool? If you, if you have, these are going to twist together really nicely. Uh, they're black and red, and I think they're going to be great for Christmas time, and they're going to be great for sort of that evening glam kind of look, aren't they? Now, we haven't got a massive stock of these. Let me just take that black background away. I feel it's a bit redundant there. Uh, now, if you don't know what to do with wire, we've got loads of uh, tutorial downloads on our website, all the w's.jurymaker.com. But let me talk to you about 0.25 wire. 0.25 wire does twist together beautifully. It's the finer wire, so you can use it for things like macrame. You can use it for crochet. You can use it for... Um, you can use it for your Viking weave. You can use it for so many different... Oh, I think you can kumahimo with it as well. Yeah, you can. You can kumahimo with it as well. Uh, now, 0.25 is wrapping wire. So you might have a one mil and you want to do a weave. You can weave with 0.25. 0.25 will do your tiara twists on tiny, tiny gemstones. It's also great on your bead loom. You can plait it. You can put it all together. We've got some examples of 0.25 and that's twisting loads and loads and loads together and the great thing is you can use it with pearls. Now we're going to give you a great deal. So, oh, and this is with crocheting and wire wrapping tiny gems. So that's pretty, isn't it? Very, very pretty. Now, there's so much you can do with a 0.25 wire. I actually think the dog's lead might be 0.25. Let's have a look. It might not be. Mm, 
could be 0 0.4. She could have done the little, oh look, I didn't realize that he's got a, a good little tail of Viking knit. So you can do Viking knit with it. Here is Alison Tarry's terrifying dog. You gotta love that lady. In case you don't know what sound dogs make. No. Oh yeah, I was a, I was a Yorkshire Terrier. Like, so I was a bit more high pitch. I wasn't like, ooh. <laughs> Should be at 19 pounds and 90 pence, but we're not, we're not staying there. We're going down. WEGC34, your black and red wire duo, 100 meters of each. So you've got 200 meters. I can't even run that far. 14 pounds and 95 pence. I can't, it's true. Can run about a couple of meters and they're like, oh, let's get in the car. 14 95 6 Gloria in County Down, Judith in the East Ridings of Yorkshire, and June in the East Ridings of Yorkshire. I always think that sounds terribly posh. Two for you, Judy, uh, Susan, Claudia, Stephanie, Teresa. You've got yours, Teresa in Yorkshire and Teresa in Berkshire. W-E-G-C-34. Now, there's lots of ways you can say Teresa, Teresa, Trace, isn't there? Does that, you know, like, would, does it, will it annoy you if you get your name wrong? Do you like being called Thomas Tom or are you just Tom or Tommy? You used to just like being called Thomas. Yeah, it's a nice name though, Thomas, isn't it? What about you, Dan? Have you been Danny or Dan or I've Danielle? Never Dan. I've never Dan, Danielle? Dan, Dan, Dan. Is that what Phil does to you in the... Uh, <laughs> Dan, Dan. Oh, he can't see me. Dan. I used to get it at school. You used to get that at school? Dan, Dan. Oh, was that around when you were in school? Like, I was thinking it was only like six months ago. 2002, of course he was at school. I finished school in 1996. 14, oh, now I feel old. They make me feel so old. At uh, 14 pounds, 95 pence, WEG, C34. Loads of you loving wire work. Loads of you, um, of course, sending us in some uh, incredible Wall of Fame entries. Think about what you could do with your 0.25 wire. Maybe you've got some ideas. Maybe you love uh, Gemma Crow's pieces. Maybe you love the gorgeously talented Rachel Norris's pieces. Maybe you're gonna make gizmo coils out of these. Um, uh, this is from Teresa. Yes, I like to be called Teresa. Uh, oh, right. When you're, when you're Teresa from Berkshire, you're like Teresa Green, yeah? Trees are green. That's how Teresa, the other Teresa, tells me. I've got, I, we've got Teresa, but we've got a Therese, which is confusing. Uh, Alex in uh, Gloucestershire. Whereabouts in Gloucestershire, Alex? Wine in the gravy. Yes, always red wine. Mm. Or depending on whether it's chicken. If it's chicken, then it's white wine, isn't it? Uh, Mother-in-law, teetotal, never knew, and said my gravy was the best ever. Hee! Yeah, but it doesn't count because um, when you cook it, it kills the alcohol, doesn't it? Yeah. So you might have to rethink your mother-in-law revenges. Fourteen ninety-five. <laughs> If that's what you were doing. 14.95. My mother-in-law's ace. Which is not technically my mother-in-law because I'm not married. Is that right? Okay. Apparently we're like ab fab when we're together. 14.95. Uh, W-E-G C-34 is true. Now I'm going to give you some gold wire. Because I can. Because I can. I actually think the gold and the black looks really lovely together. It's lovely together, isn't it? Look at these two together. It is like a bee. I do like a bee. Are you a bee fan? You don't scream yeah, at bees, do you? Yeah. Don't scream at them. Wasps you can scream at. Don't scream at bees. I've never been stung, so... <gasps> oh, he's never been stung. Oh, right. You wait, my lad. Because that does hurt. Bees will only sting you if they, if they think they're in, that you're threatening the hive or if you're going to kill them. Because it'll kill them, stinging you. Mm. I like what a bee stands for. It will kill itself rather than let you endanger its species. Mm. I like that about bees. Now, 9.95, what are you doing? Okay, let me talk to you about it first. <laughs> 1.5 wire, again, like I was saying to you earlier, the 1.25s and the 1.5s are my favorite because you can make rings out of them straight away. Look at this, brilliant cuff, brilliant, it's gorgeous. 
I think that's a Laura binding. Here's this clasp look. It's gorgeous again. Very dense. You can do your torque necklace. Oh, torque necklace is perfect. There's the rings. There's the Gemma Crow squiggly rings. And um, you know what? It's just so easy. You know what? I slashed this the other day. Didn't I? Oh, Laura Binding made them actually, didn't she? Didn't I slash this wire the other day? Yeah, I did take it to a crazy place. Do you know why I know? Remember? Because I got an email about that. Yeah, I was in trouble. And I heard what you just said um, that you, to Tom that you were going to take it to my price. So I just thought I'd put that out there first. I did get into slight trouble for that. Hmm. But we're going to take it down anyway. IFJ M35. You can't, well, you can't stop that. He just said, I'm not going to do it then. Well, you've got to, because I just told everyone I did it for less. <laughs> know the rules, Philip. 6.95. There you go. From me to you, my little cheeky booze. IFJ M35. What are you having for your dinner? When you work this shift, five between five and nine, you miss dinner time, don't you? So I want to know what you're having for your dinner and what secret ingredients you're having. And then we're all going to go, maybe we'll go to Carvery on the way home. 6 95 I love Carvery, do you? Do you do this? Uh, what meat do you want? All of them, please. I do that. I do that. Is it naughty? All of them. I think they like it because they've cooked it, haven't they? Anonymous says... Too damn right, Jenny. It's such a low price. I had to buy it. Uh, lol. Thanks, Phil. And I hope you're not in trouble. Phil's in trouble anyway after that moonstone. So, listen, if you're going down, you may as well chuck yourself right in. 6 95 for that. And if you got the moonstone earlier, you've got today's hottest deals. Did that, have we got any other left of that moonstone? Got any left? Moonstone. 6 95 Moonstone drops crazy. There are a few left if you want them. It was one. Can you can I can you see it on the website? You know when you log into the website, can you see things we did a minute ago? Comes up. It's only on there for sixty minutes. Okay, so it'll still be on there now. I would quick, qu yeah, work to the, towards that one, my lovers. Now, yeah. So let us know. We want to know what you're having. Oh, are you making pudding? What's your favourite pudding? What do you make? I, I want to start making more puddings. Because you feel more like a woman when you make cakes and things for some reason. Now, although you make a lot of cakes. Having said that, don't you? Somebody today made some muffins with cinnamon in. There's one of them there. They were amazing. You do make a good apple upside down cake. Do you make a good pudding, Dan? I make an amazing chocolate fudge cake. Do you? Oh, insane. chocolate fudge cake. Can you bring some in, please? I'm going to make some, uh, good. some this week. Can you make sure? Oh, we're on the same shift side. That's good. Um, Oh, do you remember when I made the rhubarb muffins from my rhubarbs last year? They were quite good, weren't they? Did you like them? Yeah? What do you make, Philip? Are you more of a savoury uh, chef? Make a good apple cake. A lot of apple and cinnamons are nice, aren't they? Mm. Do you know what my favourite is? Eaten mess or banoffee pie. I can't decide which one's my favourite. <laughs> um, right, we, so what was that, darlings? You want to talk about our... Oh, do you know what? You know what I was just saying about the website? Uh, Tom's just found some information for you, so here it is, my lovelies. need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. 
Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. I want you to know that Phil is brilliant and runs like Alan Partridge as well. I literally think you're hilarious. I just think, yeah, you, you, Phil, he should be a radio presenter anyway. Now, I've just made Phil do these for my own selfish reason, because he was about to pack these away. I absolutely love them. How many times have these been on? I've never seen these hearts. I think they're amazing. They've got a really large drill hole, so you can put them on leather. Who's had these in their show? Lucy, my gorgeous girl. Everybody apart from me, then. Thanks a lot. And there's only 20 left. Um, now, it's not your fault. Yeah, it's not your fault. I should blame my producer, Danny. He's upstairs, I think, selecting the eggs I gave him. Now, um, <laughs> hmm. uh, from my chickens, of course. Have a look at these. Now, I want you to think about, um, actually, this isn't my own idea. Tom just said, oh, if you played cards a lot, these would be the greatest cufflinks. They would, wouldn't they? Bit of poker, legal, of course. Now. They're very lightweight. Is poker legal? Yeah, okay. Sometimes I get confused with what is and what isn't, you see. I have been watching too many gangster films, it's true. Uh, now, I actually think, look, if you actually put these tip to tip, they make a great four leaf clover. Look at that. You can make a four leaf clover like that. Now, I just love them. I'm looking and thinking, what would I do with these? Well, do you know what? I, I, it doesn't even matter because I love them. I want them. I think a bracelet. I think these would be great in a necklace. I think they'd be amazing as cufflinks. Great in macrame bracelets, wouldn't they? Uh, let's, how much are they? You get loads on the strand. I love the colour of these as well. Six ninety-five. That's all you're paying. These are have you got any tiger's eye? Tiger's eye would look very nice with this. Look at those together. You've got some lovely tigers I hear reigns. That oh, those would be nice in between, wouldn't they? A bit of smoky quads. How, do you know what? I, how many of these have we got left? I absolutely love them. We've got less than 20 left. You're going to have to be really quick. You've got to check out your baskets. They're lightweight. They're, do you know what? They're fresh, aren't they? We haven't got anything like this in our collection. They're totally different. Again, if you're doing things like dream catchers and stuff, these are going to be fantastic for that. Maybe you want to enamel over the top of these hearts. Do you know, they would make great rings. If you want to do a little bit of F colour over the top of them, you can just put your memory wire. I think that'd be brilliant. And they're super duper lightweight. Look at that. They're great. 6.95 as well they're great we, we don't have anything like this in our in our collection they're 14 by 10 so grab them while you can there's still a few of those oh a little gold spacer bar in, in between each one spaceable lovely right we're going to move on i've got is this coming now right now my lovers i'm going to give to you Some labradorite. This is nice and pale labradorite, actually. Which, when do you know? I, I always think sometimes you want the really deep, deep, intense labradorite. It just depends on what sort of piece you're. Look, because they're squares, you get that amazing face labrador essence, which I just love. That luster that you're getting. Now they're corner drilled, which technically makes them diamonds in shape, doesn't it? When you put them. But there's nothing to say. Oh, ladder weave again, straight away, straight in. I'm massively, massive fan of the ladder weave with them. Um, with square gemstones you see sorry if i'm boring you with it now um but i would also think about rosary link in these i put them in earrings the great thing is it's labradorite T voted for the last two consecutive years your favorite favorite gemstone these sandwich up quite nicely as well look so if you wanted to do a bit of a 3d piece we're talking about roast dinners and sandwiches again 
Oh, roast beef sandwich. Mm. If you didn't make today's roast, would you would you sneak a roast potato in there, or would that be total carbicide? Put it in, I say. Put it in. You have potato in pasties after all. Now, totally natural, utterly gorgeous, fabulous for rings, and they are corner drilled. Don't forget, which makes which makes them. You know, I actually think because you've got that corner drilling, you've got quite a lot of options of how you're going to treat these. Look at the labradorescents. Can you see some have got real depth to them and some are really light. So you've got, actually, you've probably got the best of both worlds on these strands. Labradorite is a gemstone that, of course, was... Do you know what I would make out of it? I actually just realised I've got a pair of earrings out of this strand and they are spaced out with chain, tiny bits of chain in between each one and they're really little, well, they're shoulder dusts, of course. This is me, after all. Can't remember who made them for me. OIG C58, a double trouble deal, two strands, 10 mil, should be 15.90, but we are definitely gonna slash that down for you. All the way down. Is that buy one, get one free? Buy one, get one for a pound, it works out as. It's not half bad, is it? Eight pounds and 95. It's Labradorite, your favorite gemstone. Eight ninety-five. You've got to grab these quickly. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. We don't have loads of these. The last in stock deal. Oh I G C fifty-eight is your item code. What would you do with yours? Keep it interactive with us on those phone lines. Let us know. Would you love about Labradorite? Uh, what are you having for your Sunday roast? And uh, any funny wedding experiences that you've been to? Have you ever been to a wedding where something crazy happens? Have you ever been to a wedding with oh, hi. Apart from when I was the bridesmaid. That was a crazy experience altogether, really. I went to my own grandma's wedding. That was pretty weird. It was really weird, actually. And I don't know, she had some woman that she just met. My grandma does this thing where she makes friends with people um, and then gets quite obsessed with them. As my grandma was walking down the aisle, she was behind her playing the guitar and singing like really loud. It was a little bit crazy. Actually, it was a lot crazy. Eight, no, you don't expect to go to your own grandma's wedding, do you? No. Especially having spent four years calling her auntie uh, before she married aforementioned husband. Uh, <laughs> Gemma, hi Jenny. Will you be doing more late shifts and can you tickle the next price down to win me a bet? Is she doing this bet thing again? You are, Bab. What's going on? Gemma bets with her sister. We can't take that price tag down. Just want, what DVD box set? Now I don't know about this, Gemma. What's going on? What DVD box set did she win? Sex and the City. Sex and the City. And she's won a puppy. And then she won some makeup. I love this. This that's a good game. Betting with you. So of course betting is not legal, but not for money. Oh, gambling is legal. Betting is legal, isn't it? Of course it is. What am I talking about? <laughs> My brain's in Dubai right now. <laughs> I'm not in 1920s America. Stop. Why did I think that gambling was illegal? Oh, no, what I meant was we don't condone it. It's the same sort of thing to me. If I don't condone it, it's illegal. Did you know this is my favourite strand? Yeah, it is. I love it. I had it the other day. Look at the briolettes. When did I have it? Friday, wasn't it? I had it the other day. Look, together with the pyrite. I think these need to be clustered in a ring. Pet this this month's birth gemstone. So it's one that's really important to me because it's the uh, trouble and strifes. Oh no, that means wife. Um, you know the other, the one indoors. It's his birth gemstone, my dad's birth gemstone, and my daughter's birth gemstone. It's her birthday this month as well. August is pretty horrifically expensive in the Cleary Clark house. Look at these. 
I think these are absolutely, utterly divine. Now, Peridot, or if you're shopping from America, Peridot. Actually, this is very, very popular in, um, in America. I just think, twinkling in a ring, these are stunning. Look, wouldn't you cluster it like that? <gasps> Look, imagine a clustered ring of Peridot. Aren't they got, they're just beautiful. I'm just designing these in a ring for myself. If you put loads of these in a cluster together. Hang on, let me do it. I can do it with two, look. Have you seen, have you got indeed, the Inspirations from Nature DVD with Rachel Norris? Because on the front, the flower of that has got gems of distinction. I think she uses blue topaz, but exactly the same shape and size as these. These are utterly breathtaking. I can imagine these in Rachel's collection, actually. She's such a lovely lady. Look. They are graduated. They're briolette cut, so all of the facets just catch the light incredibly well. They glow beautifully. Look at that glow. I would put these... Oh, do you remember that pink... Um, rose quartz that we had earlier on that would go so well with these because little pink that would be really nature inspired wouldn't it uh, you've got clarity I would put these in earrings I would put these in a ring I would put these in a cluster on on anything on a bracelet on a necklace I think absolutely the best pair of those we have at 29.95 uh, August birth gemstone we are not staying there they're my favorite of all peridot strands you are good, Dan. Oh, thank you. These are the stars. Have a look. I'm going to show you with some rose quartz. You've got the rondelles from earlier. Twenty-one ninety-five. Just want to show you the colours together. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they beautiful? They'd work really well with rose quartz. They do, don't they? I'll pop that there for you, Dan, my darling. £21.95, ZXY, Y17, £21.95. Gemma's, uh, Gemma's bet was for a pair of boots. Did you lose the boots? £21.95, no, because we tickled the price down. Uh, ZXY, Y17 is your item. Get. I like this game, I do. What's your sister's name? We need to know. £21.95, do, you know, do you know Gemma's sister's name already? Brooke, Gemma and Bo Brooke playing. What should we call, what's the game called? Tickle that prize. Let's play Tickle that prize, yay! <laughs> you're on, uh, yeah, now, Gemma's the one that texts in, so you feel like she's got an unfair advantage against Brooke who perhaps can't text for whatever reason. Send us a web message then, Brooke. I'm not taking sides between sisters because that ends in wrestling matches. Now, let me give to you. I haven't got out in there. I only go up to box. Oh, three, sorry. So you said box 23, you said. You never go that high. Okay, I've got a strand of beryl for you, so a beautiful heliodor. And I was telling you earlier that I loved heliodor, wasn't I? You've got stunning aquamarine. Look at that. Look at now that says make me into a ring and buy me. That's ex I need it. I need that. We don't have any aquamarine cut like that. That's gorgeous. Look at that. What a strand! And you've got heliodor in there. Bit of morganite in there. Brand new strand. You've got to have it. It's cut perfectly to make rings out of. Absolutely stunning. Now, according to our records, this has never been on air before. I just think, if Alison Tarr is watching now, look at that for an aquamarine ring, Lady Lou. We love that lady. Bit of Morganite colours there. And then you've got your Heliodor. Absolutely start need it. 
I need it, I need it, I need it. Do you? Do you need this strand? I would make, yeah, rings, brooches would be good as well, wouldn't it? I would definitely wire wrap this into, into a brooch, perhaps. Look at that. Do you know what I like as well? You get those tubes with it, which look great in really long drop earrings. They look fabulous there. KPRU 64, 130 carats there, 10 by 5 to 16 by 9 on a 21 centimetre strand. Come shopping with us. Keep it interactive with us. You've got to... Th <gasps> Don't mention that because you're going to get in massive trouble. Are you, are you literally mad? What on earth made you put this strand in a thing knowing that it was the wrong price? I'm scared for you. 130 carats. You've got an, I'd pay that for the aquamarine. You are a nut burger. Completely mad. Completely mad. 795, 0800, 644, 655. Let me see your names. Whoever's not getting this is mad, I think. Look. Loads of you on the phone lines. KPR U64, utterly crazy. Loads of you in for this one. D does the lower head in for a sellout with that one? How many have gone? Loads of you have got that one. Now, doop, doop, doodle. Oh, Marcosite is very similar to Lapis Lazuli. Have a look. It's lovely, isn't it? What a cut. That's a great colour. It's a great colour. Look at the, the really intense aubergine purple with fabulous flickers of pirate. Isn't that lovely? If you love the natural inclusions that Lapis Lazuli gives you, with the pyrite inclusions, you're going to really love this marcasite. Now, actually, this is um, marcasite. Is this marcasite is not um, is not as as. Do you remember you used to get marcasite in a lot of Victorian pieces? Yeah, loads and loads of marcasite. You don't remember the Victorian era, no, Tom, but you know of vintage pieces of marcasite because marcasite would be used a lot in watches and things to create sparkle, and it would be usually cut. Coule up or displayed coule up so that you would see this sort of pointy sparkle. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like my grandma's given me a lot of pieces of marcasite because, and she's a big fan of Victorian um, Victorian pieces, Victorian jewellery in particular, of course. I, I actually think she's got a, a clock with um, marcasite. You know the little ornamental clocks. Now, traditionally, actually, it looks like that. Now, this isn't traditional marcasite, though, look. This is more of a modern twist on marcasite, which gives you that deep, deep colour. Mm, it's lovely. It's really lovely. They used it in Victorian times if they couldn't afford to embellish something with um, diamonds because it would give you su such an amazing sparkle. But really new to us here in, uh, at Jewellery Maker. Well, I tell you what, we did have it about a year ago. And then it disappeared. We couldn't get hold of it. And, and now it's, we're seeing it in little trickles again. NQP030 is your item code. Six pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. Brilliant price tag. For low, do you know what? These are going to be great for Christmas time as well. Quite ornamental. These are going to look nice in earrings. They're going to look great in um, macrame bracelets, aren't they? They're going to look fabulous as BDBs. Maybe they're going on your Christmas tree. They're going to look massive, great big BDB bauble. And you're going to get all this sparkle. Maybe that's going to be your colour scheme, purple and gold for Christmas time. Uh, Anonymous, you've got two. Anne, you've got yours. Margaret and Vivian. Uh, Sheila, you've got yours. Sue, Marie, jewellery maker in Oxfordshire. Anonymous in Oxfordshire, a.k.a. Mark Smith. Leslie, you've got yours. Stella, you've got yours. Rachel, you've got yours. Julie's in Devon and she's got hers. NQB030, if that is you, Sir Mark of McBarkeyville, please text us in. What are you grabbing these for? Let us know. And how's that kitten? Six at 95, 0800, six triple four. He's got the kitten too. His was a bit older than mine, but then mine is a feral cat. Most members of my family are indeed feral, including our cat. Six pounds, 95 pence. 0800, oh, you've got to empty your baskets for these, my lovelies. 
We've only got 22 of these left, so they are about to go limited. Thanks to everybody who's on the phone lines for theirs. It is lovely to have your company this evening. Uh, wonderful to have you all. Oh, do make sure you check out your basket. So Catherine's joined us, Sue's joined us, Eileen's joined us. Uh, please make sure you're not going to... Rachel's in Somerset. What a lovely place to be of an evening. Six pounds, 95 pence, 27 left. Oh no, there's way less than that because I just said there was less than that a minute ago. Come on, Phil. Does there, do, do you ever get called Pip, Philip? Do you ever get called Pip? What's your, oh, you Philip Ian Ivor, that's a good name. Yeah, I, there's a song by, um, there's a song by, what's his name? Ring of Fire, what's his name? Johnny Cash, with I, about a man called Ivor. Yeah, you've got to look it up. I have a big bottom. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call you. Uh, no, that's what you should call me. Nora, you've got two. Well done. Uh, Janet, you've got yours. Don't forget your text. Are you in the middle of a Sunday roast? What do you put? Some people put Marmite in their gravy. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. Are you not a Marmite eater? Are you sure you hate it? Because my friend Chuck once told me she hated it, so I forced her to eat Marmite on toast about 60 times until she now loves it. She probably just wants to so she's like, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> no, no, because now she makes it herself. You know, she's a fan of it. It's a lovely spread. Do you know what, ma when Marmite, can I give you a good Marmite recipe if you're a lover? Coat your sausages in Marmite and then grill them on our oven bake them. Oh, it's like a big meat twiglet. It's so yummy. Now, why was that funny? It's yummy. You should... You should try that because it is so yummy. If you've got Marmite in the cupboard and you've got sausages in your fridge now, do it and then report back. You've got an hour. It's not going to take you that long to do it, is it? These always remind me of Viennese swirls. I love the shape of these and that makes me eat biscuits while I'm jewellery making. I'd put these in earrings. I would definitely put these as a pendant, one or two of these dropping or do a Y-shaped necklace. Have you ever done one of those where you start off? So what I would do is I'd take my necklace and I would design it so that um, I've got chain here coming to about here. Then I'm going to start with these just along here till they meet. Then I'm going to do a line. So you've got the Y shape. Like that? Don't you think that's a good idea? I like that. It's not my idea. I can't remember who showed me the idea for the first time. Of course, if it was a good idea, it normally hasn't originated from my brain. Now you've got that diamond, diamond essence, is what I'm going to call it. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they lovely? So we're giving you that diamond fire effect with these by mystic coating them. Faceted and twisted. It's all about the glamour with these. Do you know what these look amazing with? Do you remember the black spinel from yesteryear, from earlier? They look amazing with that. Or if you're going all out glam. That looks good, doesn't it? Hello. Now, you, these are also going to look great. They're quite bridal, actually. Would you agree with that? Would they go in tiaras and fascinators for you? What are you going to do with yours? They're only £19.95. I'm going to count them. Cufflinks, perfect for that. You know, girls, when it gets to winter, I'm going to decide that I'm going to wear more shirts so that I can bling up my shirts with cufflinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just thought I'd share that with you in case you never knew and then you'd never have that information. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 22, 22. That's 11 pairs of cufflinks. They're, oh, we're not staying there. Are you going to an all-time low? That's a good reduction, that. You could buy yourself a good bottle of wine with that. Change, M-A-R, U-61. Hmm, food and wine, we must stop this talk in a minute. It'll be about cheese and then we're really done for. 145 carrots. Do you ever have a, like a three course meal at home? Only if I'm cooking for myself. Only if you're cooking for yourself. Mm. Well, I suppose you wouldn't do it if you were cooking for someone else. They'd just get one course. Yeah. <laughs> do you live with your parents, Dan, or on your... Yeah. yeah. 
but they can't hold What do you mean, unfortunately? So you, are, you are living the dream. Do not ever move out of your parents' house that. unless you absolutely have to. I'm moving out as soon as I can. You're moving out? Big mistake. What? You're not moving into the same area, are you? Oh, like, no. I'm miles away. Because otherwise, yeah, don't bother. Because never will you feel the glory of having your own washing done for you, your own food cooked for you, not spending money on things like clean things. And I, it's I actually don't mind all that. I uh, lived in uni for three years and loved it. You're mad. Stay at home, everyone. Stay at home. My mum never used to even charge me rent. What did I spend my money on? M-A-R-U-61. Those are the glory days, and I think everybody should have at least a year of that. Mum, I'm moving back in. No, I drive her mad. 10, 95, 0, 800, 6, Do you know what I used to do? And this is horrific. I used to ring my mother from my bed and say, Mum, I need breakfast. She'd go, for God's sake, Jenny, because that's my mum's actual voice. Anyone that knows my mum or knows me knows that that's true. For God's sake, Jenny. Ten minutes later, in she comes with the... Terrible. Alex from Gloucester, hello, darling. Jenny, you're a bad influence. I'm like, don't, everyone says that to me. I am at home alone. I was going to skip tea. Now I've put Marmite sausages in the oven. Yes. But it's all, hey, it's just um, meat. It's fine. It's protein. It's fine. Just don't eat no potatoes with it. Be fine. Anyway, that's a good snack. Otherwise, you're only going to start going. I need crisps. <laughs> Let me know how they taste. It's time for a five-strand bundle start by. Now I have got a terrific bundle for loads of different techniques. Do you know techniques was a word that I was trying to say but it came out as tech sneaks which isn't a word. Uh, now <laughs> tech sneaks it sounds good though doesn't it? Now no um do you remember Gemma Crow's fan design she did with little rounds and these shapes? Looks like turquoise doesn't it? It's blue magnesite. I would call it turquoise coloured magnesite myself. Do, um, doesn't magnesite take a dye well? really well doesn't it and then you've got the range so you could do that very technique that Gemma Crow does these colors together are luscious you got your sewed light rounds there and then I'm going to give you some tiger's eye rounds there red tiger's eye I really like that as a trio very good trio now I've got magnesite again here so you've got the turquoise cubes again do you remember I showed you this earlier and I, said I got all excited over the ladder weave the cubes are brand new and I would say you have to have them because they are so useful and it's lovely to have. Look at those colours as well. Those colours are, are really yummy looking. They look like sweets and I love sweets. Um, but individually if you take them, you know, take, take, take them apart, take the strand apart and separate the colours perhaps. Then I'm going to give you some agate. Now this is frosted agate. When was the last time you saw frosted agate? I haven't seen frosted agate in ages. So those could be masculine. I haven't seen them. You had them on Friday, do you? I haven't seen them. Green. Well, this time I got orange for you. Oh, and it wasn't. No, take that back, Tom. Don't get involved unless you know the facts. No. <laughs> Now that is a lovely strand, isn't it? Isn't it just? They're like little planets, aren't they? Yes! I think these would be great with gold. I think it'd be lovely on a, um, a macrame bracelet again. I think these are, are fantastic, aren't they? A great um, size as well at uh, eight mil. Great size. Then I actually think orange, if you want to make orange summery, put it with turquoise. Because that's Mediterranean now, isn't it? I had Greek last night. Mm. Oh. Meze we had. Is that Greek? Yeah. And you know what the funny thing was? Lee started speaking Greek to the waiter and he went, sorry sir, I'm Egyptian. <laughs> it was classic. Uh, yeah, because he used to live somewhere. No, he was speaking... Can't imagine that. Anyway. Look at those together. You've got the tiger's eye as well. Oh, 
and then look. So like, I love this bundle, it's very good. Do you know what, you've got versatility. These are bead loom. I love little beads of this size, as you know. I try and get as many as I can in my shows because I'm a big fan of the bead loom. I really love beaded kumahimo. I think beaded kumahimo is my favorite form of, of all kumahimo. Um, if you like prumahimo, these will be great. Beady beads, uh, doing the wiggle weave with these is wonderful. I mean, there's a million things you can do, I think, with a CD bead, intricate beadwork, Piote, the brick stitch, perfect. They're great for doing, they're great for doing soutache with, perfect for that. Brilliant if you wanna do little trees of life and you want real uniform. Um, Tom's making me name a million. Uh, great for rosary linking. Listen, we don't, ha we don't, I can't count to a million. I don't know what happens after 2000. 18.95 is what you should be paying. However, we're gonna give, well you know already, it's a star buy, we're gonna give you a star buy price because we love you. AVG C75, five strands of gorgeousness. You better work out how much it is per strand for me because you know my maths is rubbish. 9.95, that's two pounds a strand, right? Two pounds a strand. Nine pounds, 95 pence, a little bit less than two pounds a strand. AVGC 75, your five a strand fun bundle is a brilliant price, like under 10 pounds. You've got uh, loads of different textures, loads of different shapes and sizes. Your orange agates are eight mil, three mil on the sodalite, three mil on the tiger's eye, six mil on the uh, multicolored magnesite squares or cubes and your blue magnesite or turquoise, I think it is. They're 14 by five and they are on the uniform. They make a great, um, do you know what? They're really good if you put them this way and you run your strands in and out of them that way so they row up along. So they almost look like a little ladder in a bracelet. They're very good for that. They're great for putting in bracelets as well, in necklaces, uh, loads of opportunities design-wise for these. Richard and Neely, you've got yours. Anonymous in Monmouthshire, which is just the most beautiful place. Beatrice in Staffordshire. Linda, you've got yours. Uh, Linda's in Angus. Uh, Anne, you've got yours in Suffolk. June, you've got yours, my darling. Jacqueline, you've got yours. Fran, Amanda, uh, Fran's in Powers. Uh, Marion's in Tipperary. Oh, it's a long way to Tipperary. I was listening to the Pogues on the way here. Uh, Sue in Cumbria, you've got Chris is in New Mexico. Chris, you already know that. The side into, I might go to Tipperary this summer. I might go, I might do it. We're going to Cork. Uh, Anonymous says, wow, I'm buying this strand for the Magnusite. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Kiss, 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 right back at you. Nine pounds ninety-five pence. I, I know, which this magnesite? What are you going to do with that? Because we don't have many cubes, do we? They're going to be cute. Do you know what? In little earrings with just a, one of them dangling, tiny, tiny one. I think they're cute. And I also think you could do the macrame bracelets. Oh, you could loom with these. Sarah Elvin did that on her loom DVD. I think she actually made her name out of the cubes, didn't she? Did she? Is that what she? Did? Yeah. Anonymous in Hertfordshire, you have got yours. I want to go to Tipperary now. Exactly where is Tipperary? Yeah. South, isn't it? Uh, it is south, isn't it? I can't remember. Why is it near Cork? I've got family there. Probably... You've got family in Tipperary? Mm. Is that where your family come from? Yeah, mainly the from uh, County Wicklow. Wicklow, are they? Mm. What's your surname? My granddad's side, they're, they're Doyle. What's your surname? Woodward. That's my, that's my dad's side who's English. My mum's side's Irish. Oh, your mum's side. What's your mum's side? Uh, maiden name? Doyle. Ah, of course, it's so, Doyle. So it's yeah. 9.95. Do you, do you do that? What's your surname? If, they could, if, you, if, you're, if you've got Irish family, you're like, what do you, what's your surname? Someone in case, because you think, oh, yeah, I know them. Now, south of Limerick. Southwest, yeah. Might go. Might, can I come? Is that okay? Is it? Just north of Cork. Well, that's where I'm going, Cork. That's where the Cork clearers of Cork come from. Cork. <laughs> oh, you got your map out. Thank you. Can I have the map? Thank you. Ah, oh, look at his little tummy. No. Where are we? Oh, I get confused by maps. You see. There's Cork. Uh -uh. 
Tipperani. Where you can't see Tipperary on here. It's that red. Dot. Oh, it's where the red thing is. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's okay. Fine. My cousin lives in Limerick, and if I'm going to Cork, I could stop off at your house on the way. If that's all right. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. I don't know how to work that. Don't. I'm not really allowed to touch the <laughs> iPad. If you've not seen <laughs> the memo, I break. So I look at technology, and it melts. <laughs> Now, you got little piano keys of blue opal. I love the, actually, embellishment on the dress. Oh, what do you think? Dress embellishment? Not there, maybe it'll be up here. I like those. Do you know what um, I like to do with, I've got the pink ones of these, and I haven't done it yet, but my idea to do is just to make one a pendant so go through there and do just like one wire work squiggly sort of thing don't quite know what yet running over them so just a little squiggler they're top drilled good earrings actually and, and the thing about do you find this shape quite modern but you could do some quite egyptiany pieces or some quite aztec -y pieces couldn't you uh, maybe a bit Art Deco actually, because there's they're all about lines and angles, aren't they, in the Art Deco period? I like the Art Deco period. I like the architecture. Do you? Now have a look at these colours. I love the way. Oh, do you know what this would go really nicely with? You know that chalcedony, the glowing chalcedony we had earlier. That go very nicely with this. Maybe one of these each side, and then a big glowing chalcedony in the middle. You're ready putting these in your baskets. Opal, of course, October's birth gem. So said to be lucky if you're wearing it. What about adding a bit of sparkle? I actually think the gold will work very well with these as well. That's oh, that's that's very Egyptian, actually, isn't it? I love that Dan listens. Thanks, Dan. He's a good in this one. Hey, I tell you what, I can't believe it. If you missed the glowing oh, chalcedony of earlier, there it is. Look at the glow. Look at the glow. Look at my. Look at my. Can you see it? You. If you missed that, are they still some of those available? You need it. There's only a few. I like the sound. These make a good sound when you clink them. So they make a good. Oh, they'd be great in a dream catcher, actually. Those clink oh, nice. Those have got a good clink to them, Dan. Nice. Opal, seven ninety five. I'm sure these didn't launch at this price tag, you know. They launched at nine ninety five. Seven ninety five is your price tag for these. Make sure you're grabbing them and running. You've got a thirty day money back guarantee. You can use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us. A I R U seventy two. Beautiful. Blue Opal, you've got a huge 100 carats. Did you even know that Blue Opal existed? Are you going to put these in earrings? I think unless you, um, unless you work with gemstones, you probably don't know. Or indeed that you saw a piece and you own it. You wouldn't know necessarily about it. It looks very pretty with pink too. Six pounds, uh, sorry, seven pounds, 95 pence with 30 day money back guarantee. If you just tuned in, you're watching The Late Show. I'm Jenny Cleary and I'm with you for another hour and 15. Were you tuning in for Lady Defoy? Sorry. If you don't show my face and they just talk like that. That's a very Scottish. Like I'm not, I don't know if I could hold it out long enough. Now, hold it ahead. Am I getting a bit cockney? I am, aren't I? It's got to stop. I've got to go back to my country roots. Babbers. Look at the, these are lovely. Now, Tom's brother-in-law's from Gloucester. Whereabouts is he from, though? Oh, Stroud's lovely. Oh, do you go out there? Tom, it is beautiful out there, mind. You'd like, you'd like it there. You'd like living in Stroud, you would. Now. Oh, that's different. Yeah, the Quedgers. You know who lives in Quedgers, don't you? Barry Curley. Now, have a look at these. They are... Completely and utterly natural turquoise. Brand spanking new. Now these aren't going to be a tiny price tag, they're totally natural. Um, 
They're not natural if you're giving me at that price tag. Let me just check. It doesn't say RE. You're gonna, no, I mean this, you are gonna get into some serious, serious, serious trouble if you do that. You're not supposed to, you're not. You're gonna get in huge trouble for this. Phil, no, I no, I really do mean you shouldn't do that. They're not supposed to go below 24 pounds natural turquoise. You're in, you're in massive. Okay, I've got, I'm gonna tell everybody then, this is not the price tag of real natural turquoise. If you're seeing right, reconstituted, yes. Are you, you promise me this isn't reconstituted, just double check. Shouldn't be that price tag. 100% natural. Then, then I promise you, you are in, or whoever said that that price, massive. Every single one of these should sell out. And if it doesn't, I, no, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I, I mean it. This is the same thing like the Moonstone. You're going to get into trouble. Sorry, Jen. I've bought... No, I agree. You should buy them. You should get all of them now. But this is not the price tag for tur natural turquoise. It isn't. I, pr I remember launching three strands of turquoise. Ed McKay was producing me, and we launched them at 80 pounds. They should not ever, we should never, this is natural, genuine turquoise. They should never be 6.95, and, and I, I know that this is not a correct price tag, but we are honoring it because it shouldn't be there, I promise you. Maybe it's supposed to be 26.95. I would even say 16.95 is too low for these. They're genuine natural turquoise. You know that that's not right. Any jewellery maker that shops with us all the time knows that that is not the price tag of genuine natural turquoise. This is, this is a mistake, I think. 100% natural. Are you sure it's, it's definitely not reconstituted? 100%. Okay, my producer is telling me definitely, definitely, definitely natural, 100% natural. Not reconstituted, totally and utterly natural. Should have, we've only got 15 left, we've got 12 left, they're gonna sell out. If you haven't, we've got 28 unchecked baskets, you've got to check out your baskets, quickly. I don't even know what's going on. I'm not drunk, am I? Definitely not, I haven't had wine for at least five days. Like, that's how it feels like madness. Sorry? I haven't had wine for at least five hours. I haven't had wine for five hours. <laughs> 6.95. Six ninety five, sorry. <laughs> I'm scared too. Did I scare you? I didn't mean to scare you, but the thing is, that isn't right. It's good. I love you. You just got something. It's like when you go into a shop and you see a pair of shoes that aren't in the sale, but have got a sale sticker on them. Maybe someone else has put it on there and you take them to the till thinking this is not gonna happen and it does. That's what's happening to you right now. Just happened. Gone. Sold out. Hang on. That's better. Oh. Oh, I love the smell of leather. Real genuine. There's nothing like it, is there? The smell of a boot room. Mm. I am often found, you know, I actually enjoy polishing boots and I do that a lot. It's my only talent of, you know, of a domestic nature. I am very good at shining boots. I love leather. This is so, can I just say, this leather, I felt leather that's um, for bracelets and stuff previously and it's felt quite stiff. This is so soft. Look, it's, it's actually, Dan, come and have a feel of this. Don't be afraid, you know, like, tell me your honest opinion. What, how you think it feels in, got, just do this, have a stream of it like that. Feel? Oh, wow. Now, were you expecting that to be quite rigid? Yeah. Yeah, it's not though, is it? It's, it's really, really soft. Soft and you can just. Yeah, it's know, malleable, just, Dan, yeah. I'd say, would you? It's really nice. It's real leather, look, look at it as well, because it looks quality, doesn't it? You know, sometimes it looks a little bit, a little bit patenty, it doesn't. It looks proper leather, mm. like a nice soft leather jacket, you know? Mm. It is awesome. 
All right, Tom. <laughs> All right, mister. He's like, his, his job is on cameras. All right. Just wanted him to have a feel. Have a look. You've got the navy. You've got the grey. I'm going to feel all of them for you. Yep, yeah, that's nice and soft as well. Black. Now, I have seen in the past black that looks quite rough and, and not soft, and this isn't. Let, I, I, no, it's really nice quality, that is. Very nice quality. Is this a new type of leather? It's really soft. I think maybe it's a little bit thinner. It's 1.5 millimetre in thickness. Maybe it's thinner. And then you've got the white. Tom went, ooh, classic white. Well, leather bracelets and charm bracelets in particular are very popular in the um, charm bracelet shops at the moment. They're so expensive, though. And this is just, just as good, isn't it? If not better, because you've paid less for it. You can twist it. It's lovely twisted. I, I think if I twist all of the colours for you, you'll get to sort of appreciate them. If I twist them against the white. I just did the black, because this is quite a dark blue, this one. So I don't know. Can you see? Does it look navy now? Yeah, you can see the difference because I think when you put them together, you sort of can't sometimes, can you? Uh, and then here's the grey. Isn't this lovely? Oh, it smells great. You're going to love it. Here's the grey. How much do I get to the reel then? Five metres in each one. Do you, can I just say something? You pay by the metre for leather on a lot of websites and a metre will cost you about that. In fact, can you text me in? I haven't bought leather for years. Yonks. It, by the metre. Yonks. Can you tell me what the going rate is per metre for leather like this? 6 95 and you are getting that for 20 metres. What's that per metre? 6 95 divided by 20. What's that? Loads of you on the phone lines for this. I have got Janice in five uh, buying two of these. Anonymous in Greater Manchester, two. 35 pence per per metre. Daisy, you've got yours. Um, Lillian's got hers. Gina, Sheila, Janice in Fife. Goodness me. Jane says, naughty, 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 but I'm loving the price. I think that was about that, um, not that crazy turquoise. I hope you got that. Well done. Well, good on you for watching at that time when that was there. Right place, right time. Phil, are you, mm. it wasn't your fault though, was it? Did you put the, I don't blame me, did you put the price on for it though? Johanna, you've got two, Sandra, you've got yours. It's a great price. Like Vicky and Jan, who's Vicky's mum, uh, you've got yours. Abigail, Elizabeth, you've got yours. Patricia, you've got yours. Shelley, you've got yours. Emma in Cornwall, Annette in Kent. Carol, you've got yours. Georgina in Norfolk. I love Norfolk. I fell in love with Norfolk a couple of months ago in the rain. Uh, I went to a boat and it had a bar at the bottom. It was in Wales on Sea. Never been there before. Loved it. DLG C21. You've got 20 metres. It looks like these are going to sell out, does it? So about a quarter of the stock remains and we've got lots of unchecked baskets. We've only got 21 left. Uh, Carol, you've got two. Jill's got two. We're seeing a lot of multi buyers for this. Do you remember the days when we first started? A couple of years ago, we didn't have things like this. And then we launched it and they went in a heartbeat. And that was, do you remember when we had leather that one time? And it took us like a year to get it back in. I don't know. You know what? It's a great thing to be able to offer you a great price. And it's genuine genuine leather we used to be in a different studio and everything i think i've been here for like years now i wonder how long i've been working for this company for now mm. five years four years i still feel like i'm a little bit new do i not really uh, six pounds 95 pence dlg c21 uh, you do need to check out baskets isn't that fab so soft we got a question Okay, Charlene in North Yorkshire says, just ordered, I thought, um, through the quick checkout, but not showing the dropped price. Will I be charged at the higher price? No, my darling angel, everyone pays the same price. The thing is, um, that happens quite a lot, obviously, as you can imagine, if you need it and you just put it in your basket and then they drop the price. Uh, what happens is we haven't actually taken any money off your card yet. 
it won't be taken off until we ship and everyone will pay. So I hope that explains it to you. Um, and of course, you've always got your money back guarantees and all of that lot, okay? Uh, six and 95, does look like it's gonna sell out. If everybody checks out their baskets, then this is sold out and we've got a queue on the phone line, six pounds. I can't stop stroking it, it's so soft. I'd quite like to plait this actually. From Danielle, hi you Danielle, Jessica. Uh, Danielle says, Gem Studio, hi Jenny and team, looking lovely, thank you. Your wonderful brand of craziness has cheered me right up. Great to see you on the lake. Thank you, darling. Um, are you cooking a roast? I want to know everything. It's making you hungry. Do you ever put anything inside your chicken for flavor like basil, a bit of garlic? What do you put in yours? A bit of lemon, keeps it moist, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, like that. 6.95, sometimes if you put lemon in it, I find that the gravy goes a bit bitter. There might be a way around that. Mm, I'll put it during cooking. So put yeah, so do I, but then I use the meat juices juice. from the meat. Yeah, but yeah, uh, you put the, the meat flavours over the chicken, then you put gravy on the side after, after, after it's all done, then it's all like... But it'll go skill. in, it'll merge, it'll merge. There's no avoiding it. It's a skill. Six, no, there is a skill. <laughs> there is, it's true. DLGC21. If anyone lives near the studio and could drop us in a bowl of roast potatoes with rosemary and garlic on them, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I really think there should be a van that goes around every town delivering beautiful roast dinners. Don't you think? A little bit like Meals on Wheels, but for everybody, not just for the aged. Yeah? I, do you know what? I once had a thought, and this is wrong, I can't wait to get old so I can have Meals on Wheels. <laughs> and I thought, no, Jenny, there's more to life than Meals on Wheels. I've always wanted them. I love the idea of a lovely lady coming in, having a chat and giving me some dinner. Uh, now it's time for your next star. Bye. Now, long nose chain pliers. Could you please, Dan, pass me regular chain nose pliers? Uh, they look like like dolphins. Thank you. Careful, careful, careful. There we are. Thank you, darling. That'll do. Now, I'm going to show you the long nose pliers. Smaller brother, short nose. Have a look. That's my sister's nose. That's mine. Uh, now. <laughs> It's true, it's a true story. Now, actually, I, we say that in jest, but have a look. Why do I need a long nose plier? To get right in there, to get right into the detail, to get right in to that nook or cranny in my work and get really, really close and look how skinny they are. Wonderfully skinny at the tip. Let me close his mouth, there you go. So wonderfully skinny at the tip, which means for the teeniest little coil if you're doing an eye loop. Perfect. But also, you can use these all the way down as well. You can really go to town with these. Now, they've got a comfort grip on them. We only launched these last week, I think. Was it last week I launched these? And like hundreds of them sold out. They will come, of course, packaged beautifully. I'm also going to give you some jump rings. Now, let me show you why you might need a chain nose plier if you're doing your, actually it's always better to have two pairs of chain nose pliers. You want to open a jump ring, you can grip on with a chain nose plier and you can just open it like that, okay? So now it's open, ready to uh, slip on a gemstone or another jump ring or in fact maybe you're thinking about doing um, some chain mail. Maybe you're thinking, right, I want to start up doing chainmail. Now these feel like sterling silver. Would that be a correct, um... They're not. Are they, now are some of these open and some of these closed? The gold are closed and the silver are open. And there's me trying to find the... Okay, well that's good because that works very nicely indeed. If I'm going to do a bit of chainmail so you can open and close with these but they're also i mean they're invaluable if you're using them for um so let's do a bit of chain mail basic chain mail if you are using them for chain mail they're invaluable and if but if you are using them uh, for your wire work oh no i dropped it there he is if you're using them for your wire work pieces then um they're going to really really get in to that 
tiny detail that you need them to. See how you can, it, do you know what, it makes light work of doing something, you know, I mean this is the most basic kind of chainmail you can do. If you're not sure what chainmail is, don't follow my example. Follow Deb because I keep dropping them. Follow Debbie Bolford. I don't know how you do this all the time without dropping it. Here you go. That's chain mail. I'm doing very basic chain mail. Um, but I wouldn't be able to do it without two pairs of chain nose pies because it just makes the job easier. And actually, um, I will say it's easier for me now looking at this. I've never done chain mail with these long nose before. before. Do you know why it's better? Because you can hold it. I mean, it seems further away from you. So that was almost, that was easier. Now your gold jump rings are closed. So if you want to do a basic chain mail link like that, and you want them closed, don't you? You just want the, uh, you want the silver ones open. Um, but you can open them by snipping them uh, with your flush cutter pliers, or you can use your saw. Now I've got um, for you, how many, how many do I get in? Um, they are sterling silver jump rings. Yeah, I knew they were. I told you they were. I knew they felt like stones. Phil went, no, they're not. And I knew they felt like, yeah, they are, you monkey. I knew it. You get 20 sterling silver and 20. Do you know something? Uh, you're about to get a deal. So I'd grab this quick because it's not often we give you a deal on sterling silver. And you get the pliers as well, don't forget. Going to give you a, break, a great price tag. Uh, make sure you're on the phone lines for these 40 sterling silver and 9 carat gold jump rings and your newer long nose pliers, all yours for 14 95 I think you'd pay that for the long nose pliers if you went to that big old crafty store in your area, wouldn't you? Old Bobby Shaft. £14.95 X TGC89 with a 30 day money back guarantee. Loads of you on the phone lines for this, don't forget. It's a free phone number, I know that we're busy on the lines today. It's a free phone number if you dial in from a UK landline. If you're shopping from abroad, use the right hand side click down menu to change your currency. We do ship to many different countries, £14.95. Sterling silver jump rings. Oh sorry, they're a nine mil. I've got their inner dimension. Just say a nine mil, is it? Hopefully you can work that out. Uh, nine millimeter jump rings. Silvers are open, the golds are closed for you. I did think when I was working with them, these feel, I'm sure these are sterling silver. So sorry, that was incorrect earlier. Phil's fault, of course. Uh, now, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, uh, do you like the way I completely outlined that? Well, I'll just blame him. I'll just blame him, why not? Why not? £14.95, John, you've got yours in Belfast. Christine, you've got yours in Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, Julia Devon, Anonymous in Devon. Uh, and I've got a jewelry maker in Warwickshire. Edwina in Gwynedd, you've got yours. Anonymous in County Antrim, you've got yours. Suzanne in Somerset. Oh, you're all from gorgeous places. I'm definitely jealous. Uh, you're not getting the shorter, shorter nosed sisters. You're getting the longer nosed one. I think they always look like reptiles. Yeah. <laughs> 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 £14.95. Uh, don't forget to text us in the last hour of the show. We want to know what you're having for your dinner. And can you bring some in? Uh, we And what? Oh, roast potatoes. <sighs> I'm not going to get home till 11 o'clock, so no, no dinner for me. Dee in Cornwall. Hello, Jenny. I roll my roast potatoes in dry semi. Yes, I heard that because it crunches them. I've heard that. Who, who was that? Uh, sounds strange but makes them super crunchy I'm loving the show do you know what I have heard that oh, was it who did that was it gorgeous dark hair what's her name quite sexy Nigella yeah maybe Nigella oh, I love Nigella I love why can't you watch it because you fancy her so much can't watch it oh, she can roast a potato uh, now we'll be right back after the break after we thought about roast potatoes and Nigella Lawson, if you're Tom. Uh, so we'll be back, don't go anywhere, back after this.
Night Jewelry Makers. If you're a Freeview viewer, you can now continue to watch the show live by switching over to Channel 64. Our brand new 24-hour channel is available to the majority of homes in the UK. So grab your remote now to make sure you don't miss a thing. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you will receive 20% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Add a mystery gift to your order today and you'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. Check out our online reviews from Jewelry Maker customers who have previously purchased one of these mystery gifts. Go on, treat yourself with a little gift. Welcome back. Um, just taking delivery of some gorgeous jewelry. I need to know who was on the um, who was on the Sunday experience today and who brought in the muffins that taste so amazing because they were left here and I ate them all. And they feel like they were healthy. Now, have a look at the jewellery. It's been made up. Oh, I'm definitely having those earrings. They're gorgeous. By Suzanne again. Gorgeous Suzanne, who is watching tonight, I think. And we've got that shell pearl coming up for you towards the end of the hour. I've also got... Is it the end of the hour? And the rainbow. When's the rainbow moonstone, then? Coming up at 8.30 is the gorgeous rainbow moonstone uh, strand with nine karat gold and sterling silver links. I need that. Now, I have got the most breathtaking spinel. Have you got that? Have you got the cubes earlier? You need, need, need to have these teardrops. We've only got 11. How many times has this been on air? Once. 156 went out. The only 11 we've got is from unchecked baskets. Who got to launch these? Gorgeous Lucy, my dear heart. And crazy Kim, she's also dear to my heart. Dear to me cockles. These are absolutely in your face gorgeous. We have only got the unchecked basket quantity. There are only 11. People will miss out, I think. Jewelry makers will miss out. Don't let it be you. If you've got those sparkly sparkles of uh, earlier on that we opened, there's four in the basket already, five in the basket already, only six of these remain. You've got to be quick. Let's go straight in with the price tag. I don't want people to... 12, but you can just get them. 12.95, I thought they were going to be way more than that. They're big, they're graduated, they're lustrous like you wouldn't believe. They're spinel. I reckon spinel. Oh, Chris in New Mexico, I knew you'd have these. Corinne, you've got yours. Barbara, you've got yours. Julie, you've got yours. Uh, Anonymous in California. Oh, I want to come to California. Abigail in Greater Manchester. Corinne in Norfolk. Barbara in Lancashire. Uh, listen, these are going to sell out. Uh, Jennifer and Gwen. Suzanne in Somerset. Mona in Essex. You've got to be quick. They've sold out then, haven't they? If there's... How many have we got left? Two left. Ah! Greater London bought two, so they've gone. Hello, George. That wasn't fair. They all went too quickly. And look what they're going to go with. If you bought that strand, get these Peridots to go with because they are gorgeous. Ah, oh, jewellery maker in California. Good morning. Is it morning in California? Oh, it's the... One o'clock in the afternoon, it's lunchtime. Oh, what do they eat for their lunch in California? I bet they have like watermelon. It's warm. I bet everyone's thin and beautiful as well. Look at these. Look at that color. What a combination. Now, jewelry makers, I'm offended because We've got visitors to make sure Phil's still alive, having produced me. Phil, do you feel exhausted, darling? No, he doesn't. He's got stamina. Have a look. Perfect for beaded kumihimo. Do you know, these are actually going to look very pretty in between. Look, that's perfect for beaded kumihimo, isn't it? 
What about these? In between. Lovely. Now you're not going to believe the price tag. It's very naughty. They do crazy things, you know, in the late show. Look at those together. That is lush. Six ninety-five. Do you know something? I don't know what's going on. How come you get to give at the late show people? This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Somebody help me. Who am I? Have a look at this. Oh, mm, I love that combination. Imagine if I lost my memory and I just suddenly was here in front of a camera. <laughs> I'm like this. What's going on? <laughs> It'd be like Bobby Ewing all over again. No. Because I can see myself, I'd just completely have a meltdown. Yeah, but you wouldn't trust anyone, would you? You wouldn't trust anyone. You wouldn't know them. You'd feel like you just landed on Mars if you came in here for the, that's your first memory. <sighs> Make sure you're grabbing these pair of the August birth gemstones or the this month's birth gemstone. I've got loads of you on the phone lines. Anonymous in Sussex got two. Mono, you've got uh, yours. Evelyn in Kent. Hello to Margaret in Bridgen. Teresa, or Teresa. No, Teresa, wasn't it, from Berkshire. Jane, Elizabeth in Cardiff. I loves it there. Uh, Sharon in County Durham. Uh, Alexandra in the beautiful Gloucestershire. Uh, Ioni in Invercycle. Um, I have got Anonymous in Aberdeenshire too. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. And loads of you have got to take advantage of this deal. What are you going to do with yours? Is it going with gold? Is it going in a gizmo coil? It'd be brilliant for gizmo coiling, wouldn't it? There's so many options. There are so many options for this. At six pounds and ninety-five pence, you've got loads of opportunity. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six triple five is a free phone number. If you're dialing, if you're not dialing and you're pressing buttons, well, you still press buttons when you dial. It's not like the old days where you actually dial. You don't dial anymore, do you? Because dialing is yeah. You don't do that anymore, do you? No. It, do you know what makes me laugh though? Do you remember when you used to think about like in the future when you'd ring someone you see their face? You have got that technology, but nobody actually. But then when someone rings you and got your makeup on, you're like, no way. So you know, so it, it, that doesn't happen on Star Trek, does it? They always look perfect. I think I was thinking this the other day on Star Trek when they ring each other, they always look perfect. But that doesn't happen in real life, does it? Six ninety five. Star Trek is real. What do you mean it's not real? It is real. Christine's got two. Well done to you. I've just got. What are you watching on telly at the moment? Jewelry maker, of course. No, but what's your what's your box set at the moment? Have you got into this Breaking Bad thing? I've just oh, got I into it. Love it. Don't tell me anything. I've only just got into it. High five. I gave up. How far am I? His girlfriend just died. In the bed. It was very sad. Oh. Like I'm oh. right at the beginning. What's his name? Have I got plenty to come? Oh, is it going to get gooder? Better? Gooder. It gets amazing. £6.95. Pence. I stayed up and watched three episodes in a row thinking my other half was doing the same and I looked next to me and he was like... It's like, oh, now I'm going to have to watch these again because he's going to protest that he hasn't seen them. Uh, NYGP 53, 45 carats of peridot, four mil rounds as well. Couldn't be more perfect, could they, for beady beads, for, uh, for your wiggle weaves, all the things you love to do with a four mil round. Definitely go in in, um, in the loo. Of course they are. Sissy, you know Sissy, my friend from Oklahoma, she bought me one of those, a loom. I love her. And I'm probably going to go and stay... Maybe live with her. I don't know. Six ninety-five. <laughs> I am honest. Does Sissy come on to the Late Show? You've never seen her. Oh. Oh. I'll tell her about you now. Threading pack. Now. Oh, hey! There's so much in here. Just like the way I just said, hey! I can't. Hey, calm down. Stop that now, that behaviour. It's not right. Do you ever think you're going mad when you're with me? Yeah? Thanks for that, Tom. I'm not sure I... Tom says, I just sit down and enjoy the ride that is this crazy roller coaster. Sometimes you're scared and you don't know where, where you're going. Don't, I don't, do you know, everyone says that. Am I that weird? Okay. 
in a good way in a good way I'm just trying to make this ribbon a bit neater because some little mucky pup has not made it neat yeah it's possible come on pomegranate colored quartzite is my favorite for Christmas red do you know that I love it now stay ribbon it does look Christmas red look ready ding dong merrily on high yeah I'm singing don't get cross it's happening Gloria. is that a Christmas carol yeah Hosanna in excelsis <laughs> what's your favorite look at that isn't that lovely Yes, you can see it with the blue, so it doesn't feel like Christmas to you, but cra it's crafty Christmas. Look, you live it, you work in craft land, you have to work by the craft calendar. It's Christmas now. Actually, that's quite Christmasy together as well. Hate to break it to you. Now, uh, Tom is so bar humbug. Yeah, yeah, he's the man who wouldn't give you a football back when you kicked it over. That's Tom. You know what's going to happen to you? Remember the cartoon Dennis, Mr. Wilkinson, Mr. Wilson, that's going to be you, that is. You are going to be Mr. Wilson. Now, have a look at these two. You have got great big pomegranate quartzite, 14 mil. These are wonderful for wire wrapping. Aren't they fabulous? I love a big round. And these are juicy berry, aren't they? I love them. I think they're fantastic. You know, they look like that proper strawberry red, aren't they? Love them. Now you also get ribbon. I really enjoy working with the different colored bead interests. It makes your projects, it, well, it makes them more interesting, I think, and actually make a focal point out of these pieces. It doesn't matter if, they've, if you flash a bit of elastic. In your jewelry, my, in your jewelry, you've got real freshwater pearls. So at 14.85, you're getting a great price tag. They're real freshwater cultured pearls, which is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Are you serious? You're going to pay for the pearls and get everything else for free then, basically? Are you serious? $7.95. The whole thing, the whole lot. Seven pounds, 95 pence, get it, HOG. This is wonderful if you just started jewelry making. And don't forget, this is the first ever purchase you're going to make with us here at Jewelry Maker. You'll also get a free tutorial DVD, a step-by-step -step book, and a JM Hub magazine. You have got your gorgeous pearls. You have got your pomegranate quartzite in 14 mil. These are real pearls. You've got your beading thread, your elastic, and your monofilament. And you've got your ribbon. So you can do your kumihimo with either of these. You can do your macrame with either of these. There's so much. Do you know what I would do? If you're a brand new jewelry maker, you simply take your elastic and you make a gorgeous red stretchy bracelet. Very Jackie O, really simple, really chic, a bit twiggy. You know, they're fantastic. I, and look at that colour. I love a bit of red. Bit 1950s. Oh, Gloria in County Down's got two. Um, a jewelry maker in the Outer Hebrides, you've got yours. Catherine in Cheshire. Rachel, you've got yours. Uh, Richard and Anelia, anonymous in Yorkshire and Middlesex. Uh, Karina in Oxfordshire. Hi, Karina. Uh, you're taking advantage of that one PMP. Lorna in Berkshire, you've got yours. Helen in West Midlands, loads of you coming through for this one. Oh, it's GC92 with a 30 day money back guarantee. I don't blame you for multi band. It's always great to have ribbon in your crafty cupboard because you can do so much with it, can't you? Do absolutely loads with ribbon. Wrap, wrap. Oh, hang on. You got wax cord as well. Oh, you got wax cord. Can I know? Can you tell me how much wax cord I've got, please, sir? Is it five meters? Let's have a little look. Really skinny wax cord in silver. Oh, you're getting even more for your money. Isn't that lovely? Let's have a little look. Uh, half the stock's gone, just so you know. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence to your price tag. Five metres of the wax cord, my lovelies. And is it 0.5 mil? Oh, hang on, I've got two lots of wax cord. I've only got the silver here, so you get blue as well. Oh, 
left it. Oh my, hang on a minute. You get way more than you actually even thought. You get two lots of wax cord. Do you know what? I hate it when people put this wax cord like this because it just looks like a big knotty mess. You won't get it like that. Yeah, it's just so annoying. Look at this. Do, do, do. I'll put it neat for you. It's not nice to see if it's all... Well, that's not necessarily neat, but it's neater. There you go. You've got the blue and you've got the silver. Yeah, you wouldn't... You, you know what? That's got to be... Note to somebody. Please make wax cord neater. There we are. Because it doesn't come packaged like that. Uh, lo right, we've only got seven left, did you say, darling? Gloria uh, is multi-buying. Uh, Anonymous and Surrey, multi-buying. Abigail, multi-buying. Jill, you've got yours. Angela, Lorna and Vivian, please check out your baskets. Jane, check out your baskets. Kimberly, check out your basket. Sarah, check out your basket. Otherwise, you are going to miss out. Margaret in Bridge End, make sure you're checking out your basket, my darling. HOG, C92, so you get two lots of the wax cord, two lots of the ribbon, real freshwater pearls, real pomegranate quartz, and you have got all your beading materials as well. Oh, pirate hexagons. Gar. I always think either end of a chainmail bracelet or a kumahimo. These would be great kumahimo toppers, aren't they? Big thick kumahimo or viking knit. You know, something quite tubular. I actually think these would be quite snazzy sewn onto something or as buttons. Because you could make buttons out of these. All you need to do is put a head pin or a star, like the star head pin or something. Make a loop and then they're buttons. I think that'd be cute. Do you? I like a button. Oh, cufflinks. They'd be great cufflinks. You're right. Look at these. Has anyone uh, texted in with that muffin recipe? Somebody made muffins today and they, they taste healthy. So I ate two of them. It's true, I did. Look, do you think these look healthy? I think they look healthy. Uh, admittedly, I've eaten most of this. It looks healthy. Who made this? Please let me know. I'm just eating food that I find. That's what happens when you spend four hours talking about roast dinners. Beautiful pyrite. And this is rainbow uh, coated pyrite. And, and in the hexagons, you're getting such an amazing amount of luster. Look at that luster. You've got the gold, you've got the purple, you've got the green, you've got the blue. These are only six pounds and 95 pence. And I think there's a lot that you can do with these design wise, isn't there? Um, I think, sorry, let's get the crumbs away. I think, you know, we've, we've spoken about buttons. We've spoken about um, cufflinks. I, ju I just think you've got an opportunity. Actually, do you know what? Look how great they look. If you just put, I really, that's quite futuristic, isn't it? I feel like Barbarella. 695, brilliant opportunity. CIG, P43, 580 carats. They're 10 by 8 mil and they've got the most fantastic luster. I oh, these would be nice on shoes. We're all going shoe mad after Alice and Tarry, aren't we? Do you know, I've had that many people come into my house and say, how much were they? How much were they? I say, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Uh, six pounds ninety-five pence, eight hundred six, a triple four six, a double five. Alison, were, yeah, do you know what? Alison was saying a minimum of one hundred and fifty pounds to a pair like that. We got a message. Let's keep them coming. Hi, Jen. Hi, love. Uh, much appreciated. The great bargains today. Don't usually watch on Sunday. I'm going to rethink that. Rethink it, anonymous. Whatever your name is. Are you eating roast potatoes now? Do you put salt on a, a, your roast potato? Me too. It's loads of salt. Terrible for salt. I am. You're salt free. I went into a baker's today because I bought a sandwich, the aforementioned baguette. So oh, we've got a sachet of salt. Oh, we don't do salt in here. It's like, what are you talking about? You've got flipping uh, sausage rolls going there. They're full of rubbish. You won't give me salt? She's like, oh, no, you can't. That's unhealthy. Fine, I'll take seven cream cakes instead then. <laughs> Six ninety five. That is literally what happened. Uh, a lovely bakery in uh, Letchworth Garden City. Well, I would have eaten them had I been allowed to eat in the new card. Don't get me started on that, jewellery makers. Jenny Tantrum happened. Oh. Curb chain. I don't know why it's called curb chain. Because curbs are like steps and they're steps. I don't know. Maybe it's because Mr. Curb. Because why is Belcher chain called Belcher chain? We won't go into that, actually.
That's not why it's called <laughs> men. What is that? Why it's called belcher chain? Because it makes you do that. No, there's no evidence to support that. Probably Mr. Belcher made it. Have a look at this. Now these links are lovely, aren't they? You've got little links. Um, and actually, you would put uh, your own made, um, I, I think this looks really good quality, doesn't it? Really good quality. Um, and quite solid as well, yet fine. And you know when you've got that pendant you, you, that's quite heavy, but you don't want a big old chain, you want something that's still quite feminine. And don't get me wrong, this could be masculine, but you still want something quite feminine. You can use a chain like this. Now you've got 10 meters and our curb chains do tend to go really quickly. So be quick. If you're using your own links, we've got a message about curb chain. And it's from Julie. Hi, Julie. Jenny, I thought you were a horsewoman. Curb chain goes under the horses. Yeah, there, on a pelham. Yeah, I've got one of them, but I didn't know whether that's why it was called that. But they're bigger links, on a, obviously, because they're, they're big. Yeah, we had, well, of course, Lulu had to have that. She was right strong. Is that where it comes from, then? Just from, from a pelham? Yeah, I know, and it hooks on, yeah. 16 pounds and 95 pence. I'm not as horsey as I thought. God damn it. I better go and eat some pony mix quickly. Uh, ZHA Z39 is your item code. 10 meters. Oh, sausages were marmite. They should be done by now, shouldn't they? Uh, it was, um, it was um, Alex in Gloucestershire. Alex, are you eating them or what now? She's in marmite heaven. Oh, she is. Oh, okay. Um, missed the turquoise. Grr. Oh, it's my fault because of the sausages. I know it is. Um, loved the Marmite sausages. Yes. Yes. Read a recipe last week for stuffing a chicken with a can of cider. Oh, what happened? <laughs> the oven will explode, won't it? Hang on a minute. No, you open a can of cider and put it inside the chicken. No, because she said a can of open cider. There must be a reason for it. We need more information, Alex. I've given you the Marmite sausages. No share. Oh, I really could have a Marmite sausage now. Don't you think they should do Marmite cheese? They should do Marmite sausages, because they're amazing. What else can we, do you know what else is amazing? And this is probably a bit yucky for anyone that hates Marmite. Raw cauliflower, dip it in Marmite, eat it. Oh, that is the perfect healthy snack. You're so weird. I am weird. <laughs> also, we used to have um, nuts in our garden. We used to have walnuts. And we used to find a million things we could do with walnuts. So what did I do? Find a Dip them in Marmite, of course. I'd sit there with a Marmite pot and a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I taste good to kiss. Sixteen ninety-five for this, 10 metres. <laughs> I'm going to go home and I'm going to get that spoon and that Marmite because everyone will be in bed when I get home. Z-H-A-Z-39. Although, do you know what I know was gonna happen when I get home? I know, because when I've gone out, which means my daughter has told Lee that she can definitely have friends over to stay. So when I get back, there'll be a party going on. And I'll be like, what's all this? And she'll be like, oh, Lee said it was fine. <sighs> I'll let you know. Kids, eh? Mine are quite good though. Because they're fun. Your life's so boring later on in life you haven't got them, Tom. I said to Tom, but who are you going to leave everything to when you pop your clogs? Who's going to look after you? He didn't have an answer for me. What you could do is sign it over to me because I'll definitely... What I'll do is I'll... Um, because you're so sensible, I'll be like, Tom, this is for you, and I'll just blow the lot on something amazing. So that you did one spontaneous thing in your sort of life. Because <laughs> you'll be dead, but I'll be doing it. This is on the presumption that I'm still alive, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and when I, when, um, I've got, I'm always talking about Hannah Bennett's wedding, when she went, I said, when are you getting married? She's like, four years. I'm like, I'll be dead by then. Ah. Oh. A right tantrum because <laughs> I couldn't believe she's like 
Oh, I've got a lot going on in four years' time. It's like, oh. Now. Sagnetic quartz, I love it. It's like strawberry bellinis. Mm, we all love those, don't we? You'll like that, Dan. I've never had it. You've never had a bellini? No. You need to be all over that bellini. If you like a daiquiri, believe me, you're on it. Have a look at these. They're fizzy looking and they're very popular. I, I, are they red? Are they pink? They're somewhere perfectly in between, aren't they? I, do, you know what I, do you know what I know that I want to do with these? I've seen, I've, I've given you this strand before. I want to put a little head pin in there and that's a stud earring. Straight away. You can make stud earrings out of these buttons. But also, I think these are gonna be wonderful in bracelets. I love that color, do you? I think it's gonna make really nice staggered earrings too. They're, this is a wonderful little strand, isn't it? You know what, I think it's gonna go really nicely with them. Um, I think it's gonna go really nicely with the moonstone. It's nice, to, that's lovely together, isn't it? Don't you think? You might like that. But you know what, if you've got the peridot, I think these are look lovely in between. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I love it. I love it. I know what else these are going to be great for. Toppers for your kumahimo or uh, uh, loom bands. They're going to be great either end of a loom band. Me and Max have started adding them to loom bands. Gemstones. We're going to offer you this strand for a crazy six pounds and 95 pence because we love you hvru09 is your item code quickly grab yours 0800 644 655 is the number to be dialing if you're not dialing and you're webbing it's all the w's.jurymaker.com click on the right hand side of your menu to select your currency for the um for the country in which you are shopping with in even i use the word with instead of in who knew uh, you've got to say <laughs> Sometimes words just get jumbled up, which is a bit of an occupational hazard for me. Six ninety-five. Look at all these fizzes. You know what? Star by time. A whole meter. This is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It's very, very, very bridal. Think about those Indian headdresses that you could create with these. Think about the anklets that you could create with these. Think about the bridal pieces, the earrings, totally natural, the necklaces, the bracelets, absolutely beautiful. Sterling silver and nine carat gold. You know, can I just show you these links? Now it's not just one link, look at this. These have been done by hand. And there's no little, each one is linked fluidly together. Mark Smith took 30 seconds to do one. And he said to himself, it wasn't the neatest one. And there must be how many links in here? So it take a couple of, that's a couple of hours work in there just to rosary link for you. You have got so many moonstones. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Now you need to be on the phone for this brand new moonstone chain. The moonstones are three by one and they're gorgeously faceted. They're so beautiful. They're one of uh, June's birth gemstones along with Alexandra in pearls. And this is a, a chain that's going to suit so many different designs and so many different genres of jewelry making as well. I think I wouldn't take it apart. I would, I would um, cut sections of it off. I wouldn't take it apart and take the moonstones off because somebody spent hours doing that. It would almost break my heart doing that. Um, I do think Oh gosh, you cut sections of it, yeah. Absolutely. Aren't they go isn't this beautiful? Now I'm thinking about a full set. Earrings, necklace, and bracelet. Now, if you were to walk into a shop and buy that, as a trio, you'd look at least at least 45 pounds, wouldn't you? 
at least. Now, I'm going to give you this meter. I reckon you've got quite a lot of sets out of this. How many sets would you get out of a meter, do you think, at home? I'll sh let's, do, let's do this. I would, I would do a short necklace, though, because I want to do, like, you could even do a choke up. Right, okay. So that's, that's with a bit of give down there. That's a nice length. Mm, way less than half, yeah. Probably about 30 centimetres. Bracelet. Yeah. Then I reckon that takes me to halfway. I reckon 50 centimetres. And then earrings. So you probably get... I'd, I'd do a bracelet and um, bracelet and necklace then times two, or bracelet and earring set times quite a lot. Loads of you, loads. Of, I would multi. Do you know I'd multi, multi buy it? This will not be the same price tag as the Moonstone of the Year. Like I said to you, that was a mistake. But it is going to be phenomenal value, given that somebody spent hours at seventeen ninety five. Someone spent hours rosary link in this. They are genuine, beautiful moonstones. Absolutely wonderful value that you're getting. CBO D eighty one. You've got a whole meter. You've got fifteen carats of rainbow moonstone in total. Use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us here today at Jewelry Maker. We love your company. Don't forget for the last half an hour, we want your text messages, Linda. Yvonne, Barbara, um, oh Yvonne's got two, oh no it's two Yvonne's, one in Aberdeenshire, one in West Midlands, Gloria in County Down, you're taking advantage of that one PMP, Jenny in Surrey, probably a troublemaker, most Jennies are, Kay you've got yours, Christine in Galloway, uh, we got a message, hello Junie in Norfolk, hi Jenny, one of my daughters loves Weetabix, minus milk with butter and mar I'm going to try that, and she started her, do you know, that is, that's, that's quite healthy. No, not milk. Milk and Marmite doesn't go. No, but it's just like having a Rivita, but thicker. Other wheaty things are available. Twiglets, we've mentioned. We've mentioned Weetabix. Cheerios, Rivita. Marmitey Cheerio. No, they're a bit sweet. My son probably goes through at least a box of Cheerios a week. He's literally going to turn into a cereal. Seventeen ninety-five. Cereal and seafood are his two favourite things. Seafood. Loves seafood. Lobster is his favourite dinner. Shall I show you? On my phone is a picture of Max's favourite dinner. I'll show you another day. Um, it's lob. It's basically lobster, clams on a bed of rocket. Right, lobster, clams. And a bit of ta uh, tagliatelle, not tagliatelle, the other one is nine. Linguini, uh, linguini he likes, so better rocket, then linguini. Every time we go to a, um, a restaurant, this is, he has the same thing. Clams, tiger prawns, um, little mini octopuses, all, it's a seafood linguini, calamari, but they've got their legs on and everything, and he loves it, he eats oh, the whole lot. But he won't eat a lumpy yogurt, he's nine. Just turn nine. Really nice. wow. Yeah, he loves seafood and he loves sushi as well. <laughs> and um, but Mia are literally eat anything, anything. If you put something in front of her, if it was a dog biscuit and said, "Are you hungry? Eat that," she'd eat it. <laughs> I, I I mean I won't do that to her, but it she'd do it. Like what she good. does is, we've got we got animals obviously, and Mia likes to sample the food they've got just so she knows how they feel when they're eating it. She wants to be a vet. So she can look, really appreciate an animal's point of view, is how she says. Now, Mummy, if I was this cat, I would not want those biscuits because they are too crunchy. Or this meat's too... This meat's too bouncy. No, she doesn't. We, don't give, we only give dry food to the cat. 17 95 Although I tucked into some... Uh, what's the old bounce it was called? Do you remember? The old dog food called bounce. Yeah, I had a good old, uh, I had a good old supper on that. Got myself a fork out when I was about three. Moved Tumble the Labrador aside and I tucked into a good old <laughs> bowl of banks. Whilst <laughs> Tumble so looked nice. on. I, I'm lucky I didn't get savaged for that because he could have been, sometimes he could get, lose his temper. Not with me ever. You know, he's one of those kind of dogs that go missing and come back injured. Uh, and you never knew why. You're like, what have you been up to, Tumble? Uh, now. Let's give to you. Don't tell me you haven't had a good old chew on some pedigree chum. <laughs> no. 
No? Can I strongly recommend that you stay away from the tripe flavour, though? That's not nice. Oh, I ate jellied eels for the first... No, it wasn't jellied eel. I ate... In sushi place, I ate eel. Was it all right? And you know why I ate it? Because my son made me. Have a look at this. Oh, my word! Is this brand new? Oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh, that's like mermaids are inside it. <gasps> mermaids and unicorns. Look at that. I know I'm just shouting random mythical creatures at you, but it's not. That's what it, it feels like. It's so magical, mermaids are swimming inside it. That's how I feel about this. Oh, Mr. Tomness was a fawn, yeah. Is it wrong that I fancied Mr. Tumnus when I was younger? Yeah, the BBC version, yeah. Yeah. And Aslan, I fancied him too. Is it wrong? Yeah. No, because they had human voices. It was confusing for a 10 year old. Look at these. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that out loud. Again, <laughs> some things you should never repeat. That was one of them. I fancied Aslan. <laughs> He was a handsome lion, though, with that mane <laughs> and his authority. No, everyone did what Aslan said. I, I wanted a, him for my husband. <sighs> in earrings, in brooches. Are there men coming with jackets for me? <laughs> Are they coming again? Can I not go with them as long as I did last time, this time? <laughs> Look at these facets. Look at the clarity. No, with all, in all seriousness, these are so magical. And like I said earlier, you can see why they use this gemstone in The Lord of the Rings, where everything is magical and wonderful. I think I might come from that place. Just look. Just look at that. Oh, it's just heavenly, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Uh, do you know what? I don't even need to t tell you about it. You just need to see for yourself. That is absolutely heavenly and gorgeous and you need it. If you're making bridal pieces, if, if you're doing earrings, really high-end earrings, if you want to give somebody's birthdays in June or somebody's children's birthdays in June, it's my son's birth gemstone actually. It's Max's birth gemstone, it's the 9th of June. And so I, I, I automatically like my children's birth gemstones just because they're associated with that. So if you've got a dear friend thinking of making them something really special, why don't you make them a piece of jewelry with, uh, it might not be their children, it might be their husband or someone dear to them. Make, it, make them a piece of jewelry with the, the people closest to them's birth gemstones inside. Rings, earrings, pendants undeniably at 14.95 that's a really great price do you know something now that that price tag i would have said the drop should have been earlier and this should have been about 24.95 14.95 you're getting the best quality that we've got look at that that is the best quality rainbow moonstone we got it's got the clarity you can see that look the clarity is wonderful isn't it it's got that iridescence that you're looking for the shiller you see that blue that green that amazing gold, that's natural. It's, a, it's the way the light just bounces around and it's brand new and it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, it's been set into jewelry by, uh, by the Romans actually from 100 AD. 14.95, IVSY69, well done to everybody who's got this. Uh, Hilary and Lynette and Abigail. I've got a jewelry maker in Bristol. Julie in Nottinghamshire, Margaret and Deborah Jane. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, do you know what? There's so many things. There are so many things that this is going to look splendid with, absolutely divine with. You know, you know what the risk is though, because it's so beautiful. You don't want it. You you want the main focus to be almost on them, don't you? Do you know what I mean? So it's gonna it's gonna be one of those ones that you might want to put on its own. I, yeah, I just think wow, wow. Something blue, perhaps something gold. I don't know. Rosary link them. Put them with the, You can put them with the moonstone chain you just bought. We're going to give you a launch price tag. Why? That's a brilliant price tag. You're going to get in trouble again. No, seriously. Do it then. That's how I talk to my kids. Look, no, please don't do that. Just do it. Just do it. Fine. 
You happy now? You happy now? Happy now? Didn't have a, you didn't just get yourself into trouble by the price tags. You slammed the door in the face of management by taking that price tag down to 11.95. Incredibly low. Absolutely crazy. Joanna, you've got yours. Sheila, you've got yours. Uh, make sure you check out baskets. Uh, Fiona's just joined us. Hello to you. Christina Carefill has now put two in a basket. Sue and Darvish is in. Hello to you. Loads of you add into your baskets. Quick, quick. 11.95, as soon as the show is over, they're gonna go back up. So we've only got 10 minutes on that one. Anonymous in Yorkshire. Shirley and Wiltshire. Do you get an hour on each now? They've changed the rules since, they've changed the rules on me. Oh, it's been two years since I've done a late show. No, I did do a fill-in one not long ago, didn't I? Was it not with you? I can't remember who it was with. Oh, me and Dion, yeah. 11.95. Uh, you do need to make sure you're checking out baskets. 15 unchecked baskets right now. I don't want you missing out on this. Gosh, no. Gosh, no. Uh, Amanda, you've got yours. Fran in Powers, you've got yours. I don't know why I do that. I can't help it. Uh, Yvonne, you've got yours. £11.95 with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Still available if you want them. Come through and grab these gorgeous gems. So now I'm going to give to you a little bit of amethyst. Is that the amethyst that I, get, I kept grabbing earlier? That one. Ovals. Yes, I've got them. They're lovely. I, I showed you these earlier because I thought they went very well indeed <laughs> with the peridot. There's a concave cut, which is a really difficult cut to do, actually. And, and by the way, it's concave cut on both sides. Now, we're looking for the... Per Alice and Terry and I are looking for the perfect trilogy ring strand. Now, that would make a beautiful trilogy ring, Alice and Terry, if you're watching. Wouldn't it? Like a band of three, gorgeous. Uh, but then you've got so much more left on the strand. And those were the smallest ones, so you've got a nice big one. That's, that's a nice ring in itself there, isn't it? A prong set. Lovely. I love that. Look at the colour. The colour saturation on these is really strong, isn't it? It's like a gorgeous black current, isn't it? Now, look with the Peridot. We should be twenty-one ninety-five for these. They're concave cut, very difficult cut. Isn't that lovely? I love purple and green together. They're, yeah, do you know what? A big black, blackberry bush, purple and green, gorgeous, love it. In nature, it's wonderful. We got a quick message about dog biscuits. Uh, now, Andrea Gloucestershire, maybe it's a Gloucester girl thing, Gloucestershire girl thing, I don't know. Uh, I ate dog biscuits, age about 12. Good on ya. I also confess I recently tried doggy chocolate because it's smells... I've tried it before and it looks disgusting. <laughs> She's in Lydney, where my friend Tina comes from. They're all bonkers in Lydney. All completely mad. You probably know my friend Tina. Because everyone in Lydney kind of knows each other. Is that? Did you, now, I, have you ever eaten hamster chocolate? I've done that as well. I had a hamster called Scully, and they have these little droplets that look like, you know you put things in cookies, chips, chocolate chips? That's what they are. I've eaten a whole packet of them before. 11 95 have you eaten hamster chocolate? Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence instead of twenty-one. That's a brilliant price drop. What food have you eaten that was not supposed to be consumed by humans? What a smell! Fish food. <laughs> Don't want to eat fish. Well, I always get confused about fish food with it. Smells of fish, so they're eating fish and they're fish. What fish food? Fish food. Oh, true. Yeah. Can eat them. What have you never eaten? You ever add a bit of pasture mix? Yeah, a bit of that, a bit of chaff. 11 95 I've had it all. Do you know what? We used to feed the cows on the farm. We used to go to a well-known, expensive um, supermarket and get strawberries after strawberries after strawberries. So I will confess I have had a few of the cows' strawberries. Quite a lot of them, actually. Oh, yeah, you could... Yeah, we... Farmer Chris used to only feed, yes, the strawberry flavoured beef. Only feed the cows the very best. Strawberry milkshake. No, they weren't dairy cows. They were, they were eaten canned. 11 95 It was the eaten can. Except I kept making friends with them and it used to break my heart and then I did, just couldn't do it anymore. Um, w O Y Y 59. Cows are very friendly. Uh, unless they're bulls and then they're not very friendly. Anne, you've got two. Joan, you've got yours. Margaret, uh, Helen, Laurie, Sheila. 
Uh, you've got to be careful if you're ever in a field with bulls. Be careful. W-O-Y-Y-59. Brilliant price tag, 11.95. This is Amethyst. Beautiful amethyst, February's birth gemstone, great in earrings, oh great in earrings as well, staggered earrings, concave cut as well, they really catch the light nicely wouldn't they? What about a macrame bracelet? I'm thinking about the, um, I'm thinking about the herringbone over the top of one of these, do you know that? I haven't thought about the herringbone for a long time. Like, do you know it's like the ladder weave isn't it? Suddenly, don't forget the old faithfuls, don't forget them, no. It's time. What now? For the superstar buy already. Shell pearls, I absolutely love. I've just stolen the earrings, by the way, uh, because they give you the perfect round. You've got the pearlescence. They're not faux pearls. Don't ever think that. They're not faux pearls at all. Uh, the way we actually get shell pearl is by taking real pearl that perhaps can't make it. Maybe it's broken in half or something like that. It can't. We'll make it to, uh, to jewellery. So instead of cutting its life short like that after the oyster spent so long, we don't do that to it. Why would you do that to it? We revive it, we bring it back to life. So we crush it down and we press it together into the perfect round so that it can be made into gorgeous jewellery after all. That's what it was uh, made for in the first place, right? We relive it, yeah, we're giving it a revival, which I like. So if you walked into a famous uh, supermarket and you see, you know, the ones with the orange bags, they're faux pearls, 12 pounds for a strand of faux pearls in there. And those are balls of resin, which is essentially glue with pearly paint. £12 you can pay for that. Now these are going to make, these are not faux pearls, these are shell pearl. Now these will make a gorgeous goddess bracelet won't they? They've made, look have a look at the earrings I'm wearing now actually. I've slightly stolen them Suzanne, I hope that's okay with you. If not, you probably don't want to put them in your ears now anyway. Oh they're all in, on the Lake Show's dibs and they're yours? They're yours now. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And then you've got such a pretty little dibs in its mind bracelet. <laughs> and a dibs in its mind spinel strand. <laughs> you know what? These are beautiful. I love this bracelet as well. Hang on. Come on. On you go. Do you know, the most annoying thing about bracelets is doing them up yourself, isn't it? Because you can't use your other hand. I've done it. Ha ha. Have a look. That's cute. I like that. Cute or what? And there's a necklace made here as well. Look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love the way that uh, Suzanne's used the bead caps on here, do you? So that's a little bit of inspiration for, from the wonderful Suzanne. And here is a strand that could be Christmassy greens, could be bridesmaidy greens. You get two of them. They'll go wonderfully with rose quartz, won't they? They're just beautiful. They're absolutely wonderful for wire wrapping, doing a Laura binding cuff, uh, making a ring out of, making earrings out of. You know what? They're just wonderful to have in your stash. You can make a big beady bead out of these. They can go with red and you can make them Christmassy. They can go with pink and you can make them vintage. They are very verdigree vintage, aren't they? Do those lovely verdigree pieces, those vintage pieces, sorry. Uh, oh, antique bronze. They're going to be lovely with antique bronze, aren't they? They're going to work so well. OZGC47 is your item code. They should be £13.90 for the two. But we're going to give you the two for a night owl price tag. Is it still the night owl? Do you still call it that? Oh, the superstar buy price tag. We're going to give you a buy one, get one free deal. 
Unbelievable. Uh, that is a great deal and not one I'm ever going to be able to guarantee again. Make sure you grab it with both hands and run. 0800-644-655. All the W's.jurymaker.com. You've got a 30-day no questions asked money back guarantee. Loads of you in for this one. Barbara, um, Jurymaker in Bristol's got two. Valerie, Vera, Jill, uh, uh, Vera's in carefully. Julia, Gloria, Patricia. Uh, I've got Elizabeth. Yvonne's with us. Francis. Babs, you're with us. Jane, Beverly, Rose, Beatrice, Rosalind. Oh my gosh, there's loads of you in for this. Hello, Saria. Laurie, you've got yours. Rosalind, Deborah. Rosie, you've got yours. Absolutely stacks of you. Well done. Make sure you multi-buy these because they're so wonderful, aren't they, Shell Pearls? You can always send them back if you don't fall in love with them when you first see them. What are you going to ask you? Claire in Wiltshire, you've got yours. Richard and Anelia. Vivian. Fran, you've got yours. I've got Susan in Surrey and Sheila in Surrey. I've got Anonymous in Hertfordshire. Margaret, you've got yours. Anne J in Aberdeenshire. Make sure you're checking out your baskets if you're shopping online, mind. Uh, OZGC47 at 7 95 This is wonder. This really is a wonderful deal. It really is a wonderful deal. Either end of a chainmail bracelet, either end of Kuma Hemo, either end of uh, Viking Knit. You can put these as a feature in a, in a, a watch style feature in a bracelet. There's so much you can do with these. Absolutely stacks. Uh, now, I need to let you know that we are approaching a limited stock amount. How much has gone? Half the stock's gone. Half of this, over half of the stock has gone. Jan, Gloria, you've got yours. Elizabeth, we've got, we got a lot of unchecked baskets. Abigail's multi buying. Uh, Janice, you've got yours. Uh, Karen and Kathleen, Christine's got two. I've got Margaret buying two as well. Lisa in Gloucestershire. It's a lot of cheeky Gloucestershireans tonight. I love it. Uh, Jenny from Bedfordshire. You've got yours. Do you know what? It is funny, isn't it? Because yeah, normally Ali gets lots of uh, you gorgeous Scottish buyers, and I do get a lot of Gloucestershireans. I'm from. I am from the Shire. Is that Alice's catchphrase? Keek! Look at that. They don't eat um, sandwiches in Scotland, do they? They eat a piece. Instead of, instead of a ham sandwich, you say a ham piece. Yeah? Yeah? 7 95 No, they don't know what you mean. They're not, they're not aliens. They know what a sandwich is. We'll talk to Ali in depth more about this Scottish language. OZG, C47, £7.95, Pamela, and I've never been to Scotland. I need to go, don't I? I so want to go. I know, I feel like I, I would... I feel like if I went there, I'd never want to come home. £7.95. It's like Ireland, but not, isn't it? <laughs> it is like so that, it's right? It's like Canada, but it's not. It's like Ireland, but not, you know? It's like... It's like Hawaii, no, it's not anything like Hawaii. It is a li <laughs> seven ninety five. <laughs> I think I confused Dan tonight. I massively confused him, I'm and then I'm going to place him neatly back in the arms of Ali, <laughs> where he will nestle safely in the security that she won't screw with his mind. <laughs> oh eight hundred six triple four six double five is the number to be calling. Thank you so much. Michelle and Jill, double trouble on the on the afternoon show today with Ed McKay. Oh, you've confused me with words. Oh, I wasn't with Jill yesterday. I wasn't here yesterday. Michelle, oh, listen, just watch Designer Inspiration after this. Michelle's first, then the gorgeous Jill, and the gorgeous Michelle. She's just as gorgeous. Uh, and uh, I will be back with you in a couple of days, and then I'm here forever after that with no break. So I'm just going to have a few days to rest myself and then pow, I'm in there. Uh, now tomorrow it is the gorgeous, I think it's the gorgeous Carol tomorrow morning. We've still got some of these available. Now have we got any more texts for the road? Any roast potato texts? Did, does anyone text in if this muffin of mine healthy? Because if it is, I'm going to eat the other half of the three and a half I've already eaten. Alex. Earliest memory, from Gloucestershire again. Maybe it's a Gloucestershire thing, we all do that. Crawling up to a dog bowl and eating biscuits. Only the black ones mind. Oh, she picked them out, only the black ones. Only the black ones mind. Yeah, not the orange ones, she didn't want them because they look too much like carrots. <laughs> That's why. That looks like a vegetable, I ain't having that. I'll have that one though, I'll have that one. <laughs> that black thing looks healthy, <sighs> crunchy. 
Uh, it's because Gloucestershireans have dogs. I think it's like the law if you live in Gloucestershire, isn't it? That you've got to have a dog. Uh, now, I've loved having your company tonight. Thank you so much. I'm going to go and scoff the rest of that muffin because it does look healthy after all. Have a lovely sleep, my darling angels, and I'll see you in, in a couple of days. Good night. God bless. Mwah! Here at Durham Maker, we have a commitment to providing genuine gemstones. We do that by up to three lab tests and we have our own in-house gemologists. That therefore means that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Are you new to jewellery making? Then tune in to our designer inspiration show every day between 1 and 5 for our new two sections. We'll help you get started and give you all the knowledge and inspiration you need. Also, we'll be introducing you to a new medium every day. Whether you're a beginner or intermediate, we've got everything you need to get you started with a new hobby. The Designer Inspiration Show, only on Jewellery Maker. Hi Jewellery Makers, if you're a Freeview viewer, you can now continue to watch the show live by switching over to Channel 64. Our brand new 24-hour channel is available to the majority of homes in the UK. So, grab your remote now to make sure you don't miss a thing. If you're new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques, then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, 